Good morning, everyone. How's it going? Welcome back to the 8-Bit Terror channel and welcome back to Days Gone. How is everyone doing this morning? And who's getting booped today? Boop, Bleed Orange 7. You made it. You were first in the chat. It was technically a draw between Twitch and YouTube. Hello, Twitch. Hello, YouTube, by the way. Travis snuck in at the same time as Bleed Orange snuck in. It was like literally at the same time I saw both the chats pop up. So Travis, because you win so often and your hello is just a no. He gave extra points to Gryffindor and Bleed Orange 7 took the lead. So Bleed Orange, well done. Congratulations, you win first in the chat trophy. I see the Who fan has like just given up on being here. Just like, now, nah, fuck it. It's not going to happen. One second, let me just adjust something. There we go. Oh, so, Bleed Orange, hello, welcome in. Travis, hello. Ryan also, the hot dog is a taco. Ooh, new debate. Is a taco a sandwich? <laughs> um, mm, boo boo, boo boo, the last boy scout. Welcome in, welcome in, Kevin. Hey, Kevin, Spornicus Rex is here. Hello, I'm wearing my Spornicus Rex t-shirt. My kiddo picked it out this morning. He wanted me to, I was wearing my uh, Not Today Cope t-shirt yesterday. And uh, it's, I got it in red. And the kiddo woke up this morning. He's like, Mommy, I want to wear red like you. And I was like, I'm not wearing red. Like I was just in my pajamas or whatever. And it's like, I don't have any red on. He's like, no, red like you wore yesterday. I was like, fuck, what did I wear yesterday? We finally figured out what it was. And it was in the wash. I'd put it in the laundry. Um, so I was like, oh, I don't really, really want to wear that one. It's it's dirty. So we had to dig through my dresser to like pick something out. And he, he found this one. I was like, mommy, where's this one? So, yeah. So I got the red lipstick to match. I was going to wear black, hence I did, like, purple. So I don't think the purple and the red really goes. But fuck it. We'll make do. Um, who else is here? Scott is here. Hello, everyone. This is Scott. Um, Quasimoto. No, it's a taco. Ooh, so, hang on. I love it. I don't have a horse in this race. I'm not defending that hot dogs are or are not sandwiches. Also a cereal, a type of soup. Um, but taco, so it, why does it not count? You guys are going to need to elaborate. I'm going to need an eight-page paper by the end of tomorrow. Uh, no, please don't elaborate. Why is it not a sandwich? It's meat between bread. Why is it not a sandwich? Why is it a taco? And why is a taco its own thing? Why is a taco not a hot dog? Why is a hot dog a taco? Questions, questions. Remington, Canada. Hello, everyone. Says Remington, Canada. Hello, Remington, Canada. Ryan says it's bread on three sides, but a taco is not bread. So, what gives? How do we define it? Oh, God. Rex has dropped in a link for something. Hang on, hang on. Let me pull this up. Let me pull this up. It is a link for the Earl of Sandwich. Earl of Sandwich is a noble title in the peerage of England held since its creation by the House of Montague. It is nominally associated with Sandwich, Kent, town of. Um, it was created in season blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but we want sandwiches. Um, Earls, the Earls of Sandwich. Edward Montague, first Earl of Sandwich. Um, family tree, line of succession. No, we don't give a shit. We want sandwiches. Tell us about sandwiches. All right, we're going to look at Sandwich, a town and civil parish in the Dover district of Kent, southeast England. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Sandwich also gave its name to the food by way of John Montague, fourth Earl of Sandwich. Here we go. Let's have a look at Johnny Boy. Johnny the fourth. Um, born 13th of November, 1718. British statesman who succeeded his grandma, blah, 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 blah. They also known for the claim that he was the inventor of the sandwich. All right, how do you claim that? 
How did it not ex How did the sandwich not exist until the 1700s? Lies. Surely, surely somewhere in the history of the world, someone has seen bread and seen cheese or meat or something and been like, hmm, that tastes good, that tastes good, they taste good when I eat them together. Maybe I should put them together. Legacy. The sandwich. The modern sandwich is named after Lord Sandwich, but the circumstances of its invention and origin uh, and, and original use are the subject of debate. Um, popular myth. Sandwich had many bad habits. That's the fucking sentence. Including the Hellfire Club. Um... Any story may be a creation after the fact. He was a very con conversant gambler. He talked a lot? Is that what that means? Um, and he did not take the time to have a meal during his long hours playing at the card table. Consequently, he would ask his servants to bring him slices of meat between two slices of bread, a habit known among his gambling friends. Um, other people, according to this account, began to order the same as sandwich, and thus the sandwich was born. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Ripper Cosplay says, Travis, Monday. I do not have time in the morning to be doing cosplay and getting a four-year-old to school and then streaming at eight. We could stream at nine and it'd give me an hour to, uh, to do the Ripper cosplay Monday. We'll do Ripper cosplay on Monday. All right, let's get into it. Let's play some video games. Nylon girl, nylon girl. Tortilla is bread. Now, question, why is it tortilla and chinchilla? Chinchilla? Yeah. What's the dog? Oh god, now I've said it out loud. I'm like, well, shouldn't it be chinchilla and tortilla? You say that too many times and you will stop knowing which one is right. Tortilla, right? <laughs> so is a quesadilla a sandwich? And is a taco a tortilla? It's like the crispy taco shells. Are they tortillas? Or are they something different? Technically, is it bread? Ian Um, Not unless the bun splits into two pieces of a bun. Sandwiches meet between two slices of bread. Well, sometimes when you put a big... If you put a big enough sausage in your bun, it might split. <laughs> you got to be careful. You got to make sure that the sausage you want to put in the bun is the appropriate size for the bun. Or that the bun you get is an appropriate size for the sausage. Sausages can be dangerous. Oh, I'm going to tell a story. This is yeah, okay. We're already in TMI hour. I'm glad Captain Caffeine isn't here because he would hate this. Um, also, I'm trying to figure out where the fuck I am. Oh, God. Oh, God. I remember what I did. All right. So. Two things trying to say at once. First of all, let me just catch you guys up where we're at. Last night, last night, after the stream yesterday, I popped back into the game to take some photo mode pictures and I kept getting jumped and had to leg it and leave my bike behind. So we've got to, we've got to go uh, get my bike. Um, so TMI story, warning. I was having sex one time and um, I'll name no names, um, but the, the, the penis with which I was copulating uh it, it, i don't even know how to describe it. it came out a little too far and like the thrust to go back in it was misaligned and i got i got like basically punched just south of my vagina incredibly fucking hurt it really fucking hurt like it was just <laughs> rex says i'll split your bun into two pieces I knew that was coming. Um, it really fucking hurt. Like, I felt bruised. I felt literally bruised for days. L like, maybe a week. Like, it was it was so bizarre. I've never had anything happen like that before. Um, it, 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 I basically got... Um, <clears throat> punched. 
I got punched. Oh. In the uh, in the most sensitive of places. Damn. It was it. I, yeah. It was. Uh, it was not pleasant. This. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> slash end TMI. Not unless the bun splits into two pieces. Yep. Um, in Spanish, the double L is its own character. Sounds like a Y, but not always, though. You don't say chinchilla. Do you? Oh, wolf. Hang on, hang on. I was reading the chat. I was reading the chat. I think I saw Goma Black Magic come in. Hi, Goma. Oh, God. What am I doing? Whoa! Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? We're off to a good start already. Some of this. I hit me in the face with it. Get in there. That was like a double leap. Got my black magic. Hola. Uh, Bleed Orange says, Tortas are Mexican sandwiches and they are delicious. And... Who else we got? Who else we got? Um, punched in the taint. Yeah, pretty mu pretty much. Yes. Yeah. Is it called that on a woman? If so, yes. That's exactly where I got. I got taint punched. Not pleasant. Um. <laughs> Nylon girl, you you are you up till five a.m. coughing? Oh no. Oh shit. What have you got? Plague. Lurgy. Lumbago. Hope you feel better soon. Get some rest. Lots of water and lots of rest. <laughs> Maybe a sandwich. <laughs> or a hot dog. Um, someone punched your poop shoot. No, it wasn't the poop shoot, though. It wasn't a punch there. It was a punch between... Between two... Betwixt two places. <laughs> Ian Murphy says, been a while. <laughs> Welcome into the... We're already getting... We're already getting started um with the with, you know with what happens here um but 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 hi ian what else <laughs> Virgin virginia punch <laughs> virginia punch i like it ashley hello ashley and goma is here on youtube as well hello over here on youtube melissa s is with us she's commuting <laughs> rex says geez how many times we've got to apologize it's a name and no names I could, I could keep going with the TMI, but I won't. Um, a hot dog is not a sandwich, but it is delicious. Gotcha. That's a good point. Oh, what did we just run into? Guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, I've never seen this one. Oh. All right. What have we got? I've seen this one. There's this trap. All right, so for those of you who don't know, you can get trapped. Yes, trap. It's definitely a trap. I see I see leaves. Maybe they're there all the time. But the trick is with the trap, it will look like a pile of leaves like that. Do not walk this on the footprints. Maybe it's not a trap. Alright, where? I've seen this one. Still got this. So they will lay the trap. If it is a trap, they will lay the trap on where the footprints appear. Huh. I don't know what this one is. Just disappeared. What the hell? What the hell? What is this? I don't think that's it, but I'm going to run into it just in case. Nah. Is it just leading us to this house? Huh. Huh. 
I'm suspicious of all piles of leaves. Maybe this is it. Yep, there it is. There, damn it. Ah. Uh, oh, ow. Hello to Nebnos. Hello, I must say you are having a wonderful headache. Well, shit, thank you. I almost wore my hat this morning. Oh, I gotta get my I was going to put my hat on. My gear. Can't let him see me. And I was like, no, my hair does look good. It's very, very thick and bushy today. Um, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. There's someone, like, right outside. How the fuck am I supposed to get out of here with him right outside? Hold on. <laughs> They've got it at the end of the, uh, the end of the pier. That's so weird. So wait, where's my box of shit? My box of shit is normally... They normally have it like right next to the, <clears throat> right next to the hut. Oh. I've never had this one before. This is crazy. I love how it has no root. Well, shit, where's my box of, where's all my stuff? Um, oh, sorry. Um, mm. if you're Spanish, you would see the word chinchilla and pronounce it chinchilla. Gomez says sandwich is anything between two slices of bread. Um, mm -mm, Nylon girl, like my throat has been raw since last weekend. I have drunk too much, but it's persisting. I'm kind of pissed about it. Yeah, when things fuck with my sleep. Fuck yeah. So you don't have any other symptoms. You just have the sore throat. War horses with us. Hey, war horse. And Jay Stabby. That's Prison hard. pocket. <laughs> she turned around. What the fuck is she holding? It, what is that? with this game what is she holding oh it's a machete she was holding it like she it was like a fencing uh um what are they called what do you fence with a fencing like saber or something is that what they're called Oops. Damn it. pretty cool Foil, foil, there it is, Dan Izzo, holy shit, Dan Izzo, hello, it has been a while, how are you? Um, you should maybe go to the doctor, Nylon Girl. If you've had it for a week and there's no other symptoms, I'd be concerned that maybe you have like, I'm not a doctor, like strep or something like that, I don't know. Uh, Warhol says home today. I have a job interview at eleven thirty. Touching wood, I'm crossing my fingers. Oh no, wrong button. Oh, it's a square for some reason. Yeah. I've never had this one before. This is crazy. <laughs> Shit, do they see me? Oh, mother fudger. <laughs> now, where is my loot? You just want to talk, you just fucking kidnapped me. What do you mean you just want to talk? Oh, Jay Stabby, this is where you lost your shit? No! Is there a box? You didn't, you never found the box? 
fuck? Um, I mean, it's... Shit, I just had the thought, all my Molotovs, that face was my, all my Molotovs moment. It irritated me so much. I never did find it. I had to reload a previous save to get my loot back. <gasps> yeah, some folks on the subreddit swear they legit never find their gear. Maybe this is one of those. Goma, you've never seen this trap? Yeah, me neither. Jay Savvy, you were talking about this just last week, I think. And I was like, well, I know you are an observant person who knows how this game works. Oh, shit. Ah! Mother. Oh, I'm... Oh! Oh, I missed the... Oh, I got it. I thought I missed the opportunity to kill him, but we got it. Um... Yeah, Jay Savvy, like, I know that you know this game like people on the subreddit they're like oh no i got you know got held up in a box and i never found my stuff and it's like yeah but did you did you look like how hard did you look do you know what you're looking for but jay stabby like you know what you're looking for see normally you come out of the thing in the box oh they give you a sleeping bag that's kind of them the box is usually like Right next to it. They hide it in this bush. So it's so weird if they... If there's nowhere to get your stuff. I'm going to spend the entire stream looking for, for the loot. I could just reload. You comb the whole area, but it's... It's huge, figure the ass. I'll throw it in the water since I can't swim. <laughs> Wonder if there's any way to ping for it or something? Like, would it come up? There's still someone there. Well, I don't know how the how this would work, but I don't necessarily want to kill them because I don't want it to despawn or something. Not that it necessarily would, but Two Molotovs. Oh, they didn't check all my pockets. We have nothing else. Um, always be looting. It's usually not that far away, but I looked all over. Yeah, yeah, it's usually like right next to where the where the little hut is that they, they put you in. Oh shit! Someone's out here. <clears throat> I'm wondering if she's still like a freak or something. How do I get upstairs? Something. Yep, she found a freak. Look at the stairs. I saw that, that crate there and I was like, oh, is that it? No. Oh, she got killed.
Uh oh, someone heard that. It's not that I don't trust trust you, Jay Stabby. I just need to see for myself. Yeah, Warhols, I always call this area the frat boy house. Um, because it's uh it, it's obviously like a party party house. I always call it like the the frat boy area. Hi Ete is with us. Hello, hello, good morning. And Eunice, long time no speak. How's the little he is doing good. He is doing good. He was actually on the stream just the other day. Um Yeah, he had a uh, he had a a day off from school, stayed home, and uh, yeah, he he helped me helped me play Days Gone. Rex says I never engage with the blue question marks. When you get captured, does it take all your crafting materials too? That's a good question. I think so. Yeah, because I can't craft anything. Um, ba -ba -ba, what do we? What do we? I never even look at these materials. Here we go. Oh, uh, some, not all. Although I've picked up a few things since being, this is stuff I've just picked up. I think, yeah, I just picked this up. So yeah, it clears. Oh, they even take your, they take your plants. There's a chance I may not have had any. I may have used them. That one I just picked up. Yeah, this is all stuff I just picked up. So yes, they clear you out. Everything but your knife and apparently a couple of Molotovs. We may actually have to reload this because that is uh, bullshit. And Jay Stabby, I'm I know you checked everywhere. I'm assuming you checked over in this house too. What do we got? I don't I don't see it. I mean there's the usual loot in here, but that is so bizarre. I've literally never seen this before. Every time, every time I play this game, there's something new. Just trying to think where would they like, logically, where would it be? Where would they put it? It has to be somewhere. You're full on everything. Me too. Me too. I mean, the guns, it's, that's fine. You can get those back, but like... Crafting materials and things that you can't craft yet. That's the annoying thing. We're going to have to reload this. This was the, this is the start point. Oh. So you'd think it would be in this kind of area. And like, we know it should be there ordinarily right next to, right next to this. I just, I don't, I, Ben wouldn't, wouldn't have, would they have? All my meat too. Yeah, they took all my bounties as well. They took everything. Except for some reason, two Molotovs. Everything. Lexi, did I say hi to you? Lexi Price. Hello, welcome in. Um. Check the check a few times, see if the box haven't spawned finally. No. Keep being in Oh, thank you, Eunice. It's another reason to love this game. Yeah, this feels like a glitch. This was. I just, I don't, I don't buy that Bend would have programmed in something that's just like, yeah, you just lose all your stuff now. Even with the Schizo mission, where you lose like most of your stuff, you get 
a lot of it back. Not all of it. You get about half of it back. And maybe they kind of sort of thought that you wouldn't be completely full up, which is kind of BS, but whatevs. All right, well, I am going to trust Jay Stabby that you checked everywhere and you did not find it. I just, it wouldn't be very far away. It would not be this far away. Let's reload. Oh, we're going to go into an ad break on Twitch. Um, <clears throat> you won't miss anything. <clears throat> we'll just reload. Oh. What am I looking for? Did I not save it? Oh my god. Here we go. Here's... Yeah. Yeah, that's why you reloaded. Wasn't willing to give up that much stuff. I mean... It's like, we could get it back, but I don't want to. I don't want, there's no satisfaction in going and reclaiming stuff that you just had a minute ago. Oh, maybe they did this as an experiment to see how it played in the game and then forgot to take it out. Maybe. And it's so rare, like Goma, who is on how many playthroughs? 60 now? Um, oh, now we're going to an ad break. What? That was weird. I got like a two minute warning and it's only now just telling me we're going to an ad break. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, yeah, like for, oh, 49. So you're, you're about to finish playthrough number 49 and you've never seen this before. I've never seen this before. Jay Stabby, how many times have you played it and you've only seen it once? It's my fault I left the PlayStation on rest mode last night. No! No, it was off. Was it off? It was off this morning. Was it not? Oh, God. Oh, God. Who fan? Did you get some sort of glitch? What happened? We got... No, we got a question mark tracking mission at the um, frat house area down by Burnley Lake. Down... No. Here. Never seen it before. Really rare. And it spawns a shack on the end of the little pier here. And uh, there's no box. There's no box to go get your stuff from. Like, legit. Like, Jay Stabby was saying, she's on playthrough number 14. She just encountered this. And she was like, yeah, I never, I combed the entire area and never found it. <laughs> Materials will be no big deal, but I had attractors and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Getting all the plants and meat would have sucked. Yes. There's like certain things that it's not rewarding in any way. Oh, hi, Wolfie. Same wolf as before. Let me, bro. Where you at? <laughs> oh, I've got a boot knife equipped. <laughs> where you at? Stop with the boot knife, Deacon. There's one. Meet, meet, meet. Okay. At last. I love Shaq. Who fan? You don't consider a hamburger a sandwich? Oh, that is a good question. Is a hamburger a sandwich? Is a hot dog a sandwich? Is a hot dog a taco? Is a taco a sandwich? Is a quesadilla a sandwich? Roll, roll, roll! <laughs> it's a fucking bear! I heard it coming. Fucking bear. Alright, let's do it, bear. Let's go, you and I. Let's dance. Standing there. Yeah. 
No, you don't. It's getting stuck on that tree. Not gonna be worth the meat, are you? The pipe bomb missed him. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Is it come up in a sandwich? <laughs> oh shit. Oh yeah, Fallout started last night. I have not yet watched it. I have not yet watched it. No spoilers. But Warhorse, thumbs up or thumbs down? Are you going to be watching episode two? Jay Sabby, you hate killing wolves. Um, do it when they attack. They sound like puppies and it makes me sad. Aww. No, one of those X's. What do we have over here? Bounty. Spoiler, there was a nuclear war. God damn it, who fan? There's one spoiler, but you need to watch this one. The producers slash cast says they s said they sweated every pixel, and they clearly meant it. Hmm. Oh, I see another question mark. Uh oh. Now I'm wary. Never been wary of the question marks before. Hold on, I never did finish burning out this nesting zone. Yep, we're not going to, Deacon. Oh yes, yeah, so Travis, you weren't here. So we had weird things happening with YouTube yesterday as well. I apologize to those of you watching on YouTube who just got randomly cut off yesterday. I did not do it. I don't know what happened. YouTube just decided, no, thank you. Um, but yeah, Travis, you I think you'd already gone and we had a question. So to do this Nero MMU, we need to burn a nest. Let you that coming, huh? We're doing a no nests, no hordes playthrough where we're not burning them. Gotta be right here. Ah, uh, fuck, I have no suppressors. Oh, well. There's another one. Wait. Time to burn. <laughs> um, but am I allowed to burn that one? For the purpose of doing the MMU? <laughs> Ian, I am also enjoying the Halo series. That is a really good one. Jeremy, you made it! Can't say. At work. Have a great stream. Oh, well, thank you for being here. No, you don't. No, you don't. Any condiments? <laughs> I was just asking all the questions today. Um, Halo, yes, Halo. Halo is a good, good show. I am enjoying that. Um, it's not gonna go. Oh no, never mind. Um, the horde always attacks me here. Where does that horde sleep? I actually don't know where this horde sleeps. Lexi, you're wondering what happened. You're watching on your lunch break. Yeah, I have no idea. It was just like. Gone. 
It was really weird. Uh, you can take out one nest without clearing the zone. I say this one's okay since it's needed the nearer checkpoint. Uh, Warhorse says Fallout TV series is better than the Twisted Metal TV adaptation, and that one was good. Nylon Girls says Twisted Metal was fucking great. Never watched it. I think they all came out already. Oh, no, there they are. You don't know where I am. Travis says no nests, no hordes. Well, shit. Sorry, Travis. Um, mm, Travis says OMG is so good. Wait, Fallout? You're saying Fallout is good? Travis, you're actually saying something positive about something? It must be good. Yeah, freak a coming out party. Um, if you're down on the side of the generator, just follow that path that's in that area. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know they eat down there, but I never know where they actually sleep. Unless there's a long tunnel. No, Ian, I think you're thinking of the one in um Crater Lake, the the Tumble Tumble Bug River Infestation Zone and the Rimview Ranch Horde. No wait, Rimview Ranch Horde. They sleep in the nest, the Rimview Ranch Infestation Zone, but the, uh, the I forget the name of the Nero MMU. It's the Volcanic Scenic Highway MMU. Um, and that one has the little, uh, in the, in the roads uh, tunnel, there's a little um, ladder you can go down that goes to a sort of drainage channel that leads down to the feeding area. I think that's the one you're thinking of. Hey, we can finally get some nest residue! No women, no children. Them's the rules. Separates us from the baddies. Feels... Job ranch. Yep, that's the one. You know it. Oh, God damn it. Fuse blown. <laughs> now we're in business. <laughs> Oh, fuck's sake, Deacon. Pick it up. Now, we had already destroyed a few of these and I lost count. So, shit. Travis says, if you're on a road that leads to the MMU, with the MMU in front of you, Ward sleeps down a path to the left. Yes. Could be described as behind a cave with an... Oh, okay. Okay. Uh-oh. What's the punishment? Oh, no. Well, let's turn it on and find out if we've left any speakers on. Green lights, green lights. Now we're in business. Yeah. Fishing Club! Hello. 
Uh, did you get the fuses confused the first time you played? No, I never did. I it's weird because like the fuses are only at what three, four MMUs out of how many? 18, 20? What I don't know how many there are. Um We're not hearing the recorder. Strange. Um But no, I think I I would like do all the speakers, do the generator, and then he'd be like, oh, fuse, and I'd be like, fuck. So I'd look around, get the fuse, go put it in, like do it straight away. Um, but I know it does happen. I know people do, because I, I guess you like loot stuff and maybe don't do the MMU. And then you have a fuse and you don't really know that you picked up a fuse. You don't know what it's for yet. Oh, shit, we have a skill point to spend. Um, yes, hello. So we were working on range not range melee because we need to get we really need to get this before we go to carlos just roll with it reduce the drastically reduce stamina cost from rolling that one's going to be important so we're going to get ball rush i know i know the reckoning gives melee weapons a chance for chris blah 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 ball rush ball rush is fucking killer and i love it it's my favorite skill Favorite, favorite skill, and it oh, it's just so good. And it just makes you almost invincible. Um, How many... Okay, so we're quite a way away from our next skill point, but that one will be... Uh, just roll with it, and then we can start working on ranged! And maybe we could actually be able to reload our weapon while sprinting. Once we've got four more skill points. Um was looking at it's time but we should go with focus for this Another narrow Good. that's what you did Appalachia you uh you got them you picked it you looted it didn't really realize what you looted it for walked off and then you're like wait what it can glitch if you use the fuses in other other MMUs mm. sometimes it can like glitch or, or certainly get confusing this will help me keep my eyes open. All right. I cannot wait to get some better guns. The Lone Stubby has been serving me pretty well, but I would definitely appreciate something better in that slot. Going to save it, but now we have freaks around. All right, so let's find just for fun, let's find the horde. So you're on the road that leaves the MMU, the MMU in front of you, horde sleeps on a path to the left. It's down this way, right? What is up here? I don't think I've ever been up there before. Um, because this this infestation zone is quite spread out. You have like the three up here, and then there's one all the way down here. And I think the horde cave is here. Actually, let me go back and get my bike. We'll do this on the bike. And the little stubby, a little stubby works well enough, but I want something bigger in my slot, if you know what I'm saying. Yep, 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 you are, no, no stamina depleted. Idris, holy cow, you always know how to make such an entrance. All rush just in time. I like the skill. Try it on a screamer. Does it work on a screamer? I know it doesn't work on some of them, I forget which ones. <laughs> Idris, thank you for that, I appreciate it. Oh yeah, here's where they are, here's where they are. Guess I'll come back later, burn out these nests. 
<laughs> oh my Virginia ears. Um. Oh, they are deep in there. Oh, no, 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 no. Bye, we found the hornets on this way. Bye. Oh. Sex, sex, sex. That's all you ever think about. All this talk about screamers and little stubbies. Oh, that cliff was. Oh, that had to have hurt. I'm sorry, Deke. Cliff was a little steeper than I thought. Alrighty, so we have a mission uh, to go do. Oh, it's it's uh, Lynchman. And then we can check on Boozer. I could use a hand. All oh, this red on the map pains me. Pains me. Ooh, we have a job from... Oh, we have a job from Tucker and from Cope. Ah, uh, let's go... Well, shit, let's just go do it in order. Let's go talk to Boozman. A movie quote yeah i i recognize it as being a movie quote i can't i can't think what it's from though um not a river it's a pond oh, feeding ground feeding, wait hang on feeding ground for who Wapanisha Road, maybe? No. What horde is over here? Eating over here? What fucking horde eats here? I normally kill them all, so I'm like... A little bit confused. It's got to be Wapanisha Road. Ooh, should we go do Dearborn? Oh, can we? I want to go do Dearborn. We're going to go do Dearborn. Also, I need to fix my bike. Sawmill. No, no hordes. No nests, no hordes. It did not work so well. <laughs> she screamed and the, the fun began. Vagrant camp. Bastards have been ambushed. Now all the supply runs are around here, haven't you? Oh, there's another one. Get on that. <laughs> Fucking runners. <laughs> that bike is smoking more than Willie Nelson's tour bus. <laughs> Nobody knocks over my bike. There's a third one coming in for a, for a uh, slice of the fun. Three down. Do not over my bike. I'll stop everyone. Stop knocking over my bike. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Runner knocks over bike. Deacon. And I took that personally. Fuck yeah. I always take it personally.
So he said as we rolled up, he said vagrant camp. <gasps> Not ambush camp. Oh my god, I just had a really evil thought. This is where you find the, the doggy toy, the dog for Boozer? Yes, it is. And I was just thinking, you know how normally we, um, like the, the idea of like you play the game enough, you know where things spawn and you can kind of like leave bombs and events like we did with Red Riley. Um, you could, I was wondering if you could leave a bomb in the shed <laughs> to blow up dog uh sparrowhawk hello is a hot dog a sandwich i'd say no a sandwich is a filling between two pieces of bread a hot dog only uses one piece of bread Alright, fun and games with bear traps. Let's go. Now, I don't have a suppressor. Ah, oh, shit, we should... Mm. Do I have one on my sniper rifle? Oh, I do. Okay. Just said he did this camp the other day, I was able to lure a person up to the sniper area and use a bear trap on him. He was kind enough to yell his head off and bring his friends up. That is how it is played. That is how I like to play it. And what you have to do, so every bear trap is, um, is currently theirs, so they know where it is and they will not step in them. But if you pick them up and reset them, well then they become yours. Oh, nearly ran into that. Very, very nearly. Yeah, you probably, you probably have seen me seen me do that. I like to set two. I always like to set one behind me because one will run up. One of the marauders will run up behind you, and you can catch him in it. may not have put it quite close enough because they won't really the snipers don't walk anywhere they just turn around so you have to get it right up behind them so when they turn this oh, oh there it is there it is and now we wait call to john no don't trap my leg oh won't somebody help the sniper a leg it's a bear trap a leg. My leg. A leg. My leg. A bear trap. A bear trap. No, don't. My leg. My no. leg. My leg. My leg. <laughs> First one down. We got one, and then she got out of it somehow. And then the other one stepped in the other one, and then they both died. Burn you asshole. Oh, and I think. Hang on, hang on. I think we got a. Um, it looks like there was a third one. There's a third X. I think we can... There's two there. So you see the two bodies there. There's a third X. I think we got someone else with that... That, um, that Molotov. Now, 
that's about all the fun you can have here. After this, it, it gets a little difficult to consistently get them to come up onto the sledge. Hey, Drifter. I like your style. You got what it takes to survive out here. Well, thank you. Why don't you uh, lower your weapons? Come out and chat for a bit. See if we can't reach an arrangement. Hey, oh. Come on now. Show yourself. Oh. An arrangement, huh? I was tempting offer, but I think I'm just gonna kill you all and steal your shit. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, sniper rifle up close. Ouch. Sons of bitches. Oh, you like the sad band pushes? Yeah. Move up. They haven't even seen me yet. Bear that in mind. He's here somewhere. Somewhere? If only we could figure out where. If only. That's enough of them from this angle. Let's loop around going the other way. Nah, I'll come back and deal with the No, 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 Deacon. We're not done. Um. Oh, Sparrowholt says I've spent far more time than I should looking for dog toys. He's so cute. And Goma, yep, good point. Nothing in this game is a waste of time. It is time well spent. Uh, Jay Savvy says, I did this on the first Marauder camp. You have to go to, go do. I got a dude in a bear trap and his friend came over, threw a Molotov at them, they're on fire. And the dude is still screaming about his leg. Well, I mean, his leg was on fire, so... Um, <laughs> sir, you are fire. I'm having so much fun at being sneaky and stabby on this playthrough. And <laughs> Goma says, I admire that in a person. I mean, that's how I love to play. I love, I love sneaky, stabby, shooty. Hey, how's it looking out there? Let's do this, come on, you murdering son of a bitch. This is one of my favorite ambush camps. Not an easy one. It is quite tricky. Hubert, hello. 23rd like is from me, says Hubert. Thank you. Got a lot of ammo left. We'll be fine, Deacon. trick with this camp is patience, though. Oh, 
and one of them does come out of the hatchet there. And maybe they'll be next. Maybe it's around like 13 or so. One of them will pop out there. So I wonder... I don't think he's come out yet. I wonder if we can leave a bomb for him. He may have already come out. Like, we can check. I think he's... He's, like, one of the guys that wears, like, the yellow helmet. Shit. That, that might be him. Yellow, yellow top. I think it has some yellow detail on the... On the face as well. Nothing. Nothing. I will set you on fire if you take another step, dude. I'm trying to do the stealth only. Don't you fuck me up. Well, stealth only. I've already set two people on fire and caught people in bear traps. Sparrowhawk, you noticed on your PS5 main screen this morning you're coming up on 700 hours. And days gone. That is a wonderful thing. Who said that? Also, that guy's not dead. Do you want another one? Let's do it. Got him. Shit. You see me? Bro, I'm not even there. Hey, what do you say, huh? You know what? What do I say? What? What? Yeah, what? Don't want to waste the Take it easy on yourself. Get one more to go. I like that the last person can like hear their friend screaming. He's got a Molotov, and like, ah, ah, I'm on fire, and they're like, um, oh. yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Don't regret a second of it. Let me see. I want to actually see how many hours I have. Um, this does not include playing on PC. Shit, can you see that? I'm probably totally in the way. 976. Am I in the way still? Did I move out of the way in enough? We're so close to a thousand. So close. In fact, I have a thousand hours because we did that playthrough on PC. Um, but on PlayStation. And your PS5 will include your PS4 numbers. PS4 does not show your numbers. There's no way to, like, pull it up like that. But it does include um, your numbers. It does track it. These services have noticed that for me, when I have my favorite good horde weapons, I rely on them more. I t tend to forget that I have Molotovs, grenades, etc. unless I'm killing a horde. But they absolutely work on humans. I'm following the yellow quests and only doing things that are near those quests so I don't have the auto shotgun or anything yet. Ooh. Speaking of things that work on humans, the attractor bomb is one of my all-time favorite, favorite things to use on humans. It's just so wonderfully designed. And we have one person left, so let's uh, loot and then we'll find them. I'll show you. For those who don't know, I'm sure most of you know, but if you haven't done it yourself, you've certainly seen me do it. Once so we figure out where number 15 is. Ooh, there's bear traps around here. Gotta be careful. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, the deer triggered the bear trap. Oh, thank you, deer. Steal some meat. God Jess, Abby. Squatters. God damn it. They were waiting for me. Wait, hold on. I want him to, like, reset and be, you know, just calm, calm, unaware person. Yeah. 
I want you guys to have a good view of what happens, so let's lure him in. Where you at, mate? Where are you? on the other side of the fire. I do like these massive burning bonfires that they have. I love how it affects the light and how you how you can kind of um like not see through it or around it so easily. Uh hello Bob and Virgin aka Doctor Doctor. Maybe it's that I'm blind but I can't see you in my list anymore. I just changed your logo to something shiny and bright. Oh, weird. And Marcus Horton is with us. Hello, Marcus Horton. Good morning. You have a thing. You have, you have, I think it's coming as two packages. You have something incoming. Um, not sure if it's arrived or will be, will be arriving soon. All right, check this out. Something's coming. So they stamp when you throw an attractor, they'll stamp on it to like cancel the noise because they don't want the freaks to be pulled into their camp. When you throw an attractor bomb, they stamp on it. Oh, oh, oh it took his foot. His foot is right there. Let's move the machete. His foot is right there. And then the rest of us over there. Oh, bro. Hold on, we still got red on the map. Ooh, wait, that wasn't the guy. Oh, that was not the guy. That was not part of the camp. He was not part of the camp. He was, when we pulled up and it said vagrant camp, there's always like down at the bottom of the hill, you tend to find like the, um, just like raiders. There's always, whenever I do this camp, I go down the hill and then there's always like a couple extra guys that are not part of the camp. He was not part of the camp. He came up to see what all the commotion was about. I love that he gave you a machete. I know. Jay, good morning. Hello, hello. So where the fuck is the other guy? <laughs> there he is. I see you. I see you. Lots of grenades. Oh! It was supposed to be a grenade! What the hell? I was gonna say, with the grenades, when they're up against the wall, if you throw it slightly away from the wall so that they are sandwiched between the wall and the grenade, because when you throw a grenade or a pipe bomb, they'll take a few steps away from it. And sometimes that can lower the damage on them. If you throw it a few steps away from them but give them nowhere to run, they can't back up from it. Nylon girl, you gotta go to this doctor's appointment. I'll be back. All right, all right. Weapon wheel strikes again. I know, usually I'm like, I don't have that problem. Earlier, I don't know if you noticed, I selected a tractor bomb and he ended up holding a proximity mine. You scroll back to when I first started talking about the attractor bomb, you'll see. And I clocked it straight away and I reselected a tractor bomb, but just then I swear to God, select a grenade. The trick is, you see there where the camera goes up, the trick is to like hold the direction when you let go of the button. And it just takes, sometimes it takes a little bit of practice to, uh, a little bit of muscle memory to get the timing down. <laughs> Reminds me of that scene from Resident Evil. Chris, where's my husband? Boom. Chris says, he's over there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Which, um, which Resident Evil is that? I, I don't think I've seen that one. I played the games. Where's the table? There it is, walk right past it. Um, but I've only seen the first, seen the first Resident Evil a few times. The second one, maybe once or twice? Holy 
t-shirt, Marcus Orton. Thank you. Thank you. Holy cow. Thank you. It's your fifth super on a live stream. My gosh. Thank you. That really does mean a lot. And now we can make incendiary bolts. Marcus, that was because of you. The game gave me incendiary bolts because, because of you and Idris. You guys. Keeping this channel going. I appreciate that. All right, let's... Uh, should we switch? Should we switch it up? Should we switch it up? Oh, I mean, that one's not exactly great, but... We need to we need to get to level whatever with Tucker. Um we're at level two, I think. We need to get to level three. We are not gonna do that anytime soon. Ooh, this is tough. This is really tough. Um, or we can get to level whatever with Iron Mikes. We're not far off level two. That would give us access to some better guns. Let's focus on that. Um. Oh, thank you, Marcus. Just want to show my appreciation. Uh, Jay Savvy says, I'm too quick with the weapon wheel sometimes. Survival 2 is good for curing that. You have to take the time to see what Deacon is holding before you throw it. Oh, it's from Village? From the game. Resident Evil Village. Okay, I don't remember that line. I only played that once. Um... Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't say it. <laughs> Just a joke you love to say. That's funny. I like it. All right, let's loot these motherfuckers. I can't believe we got like a bonus raider, bonus um, marauder. Traps, bear traps, bear traps. And I wonder if... If the ambush camp... Oh, he gave me a molotov. Thank you. If the ambush camp sets the bear traps. So those bear traps belong to the ambush camp. And a marauder, who's not part of the ambush camp, wanders in. Will they step in the bear trap? I love making little kill zones like that. Like, just little areas where they just keep wandering in to like, Oh no, there's a body over here. Pop, headshot. Oh no, there's a body over here. Pop, headshot. <laughs> Fucking love it. These, the bits of paper flying here. I know some of this is snow, but I absolutely adore this camp for that. The first time I played it, I was so mesmerized. I was like, what is this shit flying around in the air? What is going on? I love how distracting it is. Like, it catches your eye. I'm going to sneeze. I'm not going to sneeze? No, we're not going to sneeze. Fuck it. Uh, Sparrowhawk says Resident Evil Village is so good in VR. Oh, I remember seeing the, the like, trailer, whatever, commercial for it. Um, and they had, they had the, the VR, um, experience of getting your legs chopped off with an axe by the scary daddy crazy, whatever the fuck his name was. Um, and I was just like, no. No, VR... It's weird, VR kind of really just scare me. I'm I'm really not very good with it. First of all, it's kind of sickening. It's not great for like motion sickness and whatnot. Um But there's a uh there's a game called Bar Brawl. And it's a really funny, stupid game where you are in a bar and you start a fight, you just walk up to someone and just like punch them, and you can like pick up various things around the bar. Uh, like beer bottles or a guitar off the wall or whatever and you can like pick people up and like throw them around and shit and it's it's really like kind of lame but kind of it's funny it's you know it's just a dumb funny stupid game you have to walk up real close to the the npcs to hit them and it has this sort of like goofy kind of like slightly plasticky kind of look like everyone looks like a mannequin and i i just i'm like i don't want to get that close I like back up and I, I'll start like swinging and just like miss them because you need to be up close to them. And I'm like, fuck no, but I don't want to get close to them. Like it's, it just, it's weird. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. We fucking need gas. I did not bring a gas can with me because I'm dumb. Ooh. 
Oops, giddy. Deer crossing. You know, there was a time where that was a bad idea. You know what? It's an X that, oh, it's a deer. Okay. We'll get that in a minute. Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on. We can make it. We can make it. I'm not going to be able to see the gas can now. Um, I never usually get the gas cans from here. I don't really know where they keep it. Quite often it's near the porta potties. Porta loos. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, I know you got gas. I know there's gas here. What the heck do they keep it? A deacon doesn't have time to sneeze. I ain't got time to bleed. But does he have time to find the gas? Hang on, hang on. Bob is saying something about booby traps. Um, did you ever, did you ever hear about the Chinese tomb? They are too afraid to open. I have heard about this. I'm gonna mispronounce the name. Kin Shu Huang. Uh, it's so worth reading about apparently rivers and lakes of mercury in there, amongst other things, and booby traps. Ooh, now you've got my attention. It's the burial place of the first sovereign empire. Uh, emperor, I'm sorry, emperor. Of the Qin dynasty. I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, who unified the empire, began the construction of the Great Wall of China. And prepared for death by constructing a 20 square mile funerary compound inspired probably by the egyptians i would imagine or i mean maybe not um does anybody know where the gas is in this place oh that guy is oh i thought he like sunk into the floor that was weird um that makes Tomb Raider 2 make more sense. Because I always thought it was funny that they she goes to the Great Wall of China and it's like, traps! Traps everywhere! But no, are there traps at the Great Wall of China? But it would make sense if the guy who started building the Great Wall of China created um, a booby-trapped tomb for himself. I am confused. I don't know where the gas can is here. There's always gas at um ambush camps i just i never i never get it from here Fuck. and i know there's gas in the injector just just over there um the injector site but we can't get there without gas oh. it's getting dark the freaks are coming out at least there's no horde near here oh wait We blowing up by mistake? I'm so confused. Um, oh, they worry about damage to the tomb if they open it. Plus, the booby traps might be that might be within. Hmm. With technology these days, I mean, they don't even need to go in. They could just like laser scan it or whatever oldg hey you arrived just in time thank you isn't there one down by the green car on the main road quite probably now by the main road you mean the the one that runs through the camp down here the main road over there 
see a green car here though. Let's have a look. I just I never get gas from here, so I've literally never picked it up. But there's usually two cans. At every ambush camp. Maybe not two. There's two at every MMU, I know that much. Am I going the right way? Oh, well, DG. Uh, I want to go and visit it, but my wife's brother's problem is he can never resist a door or button. I just know he would try to force a way into. Oh, good lord! Can you imagine? All right, well, we'll get one from the sawmill. Sawmill's fine, right? It's a safe place. No horde there, right? Right, guys? Right? Kevin, hello! Welcome in. Eight bit is just inviting all types of discussions lately with the episode titles. Well you missed the um You missed the the, the TMI one. Ooh, I see a question mark. Oh god. Oh no no no. I was actually I made a comment saying I was glad that you weren't here because it was it was very TMI. Um but yeah, is is a hot dog sandwich. We're trying to go through that window, Deacon. Thank you. And hello. Um. Yeah, I forget your name. What was your name? Yeah, I wish Boo Boo was still here. Oh, there. There's there's Scout. Um, is this the person from yesterday that was speaking Bulgarian, Scout? And what was their name? Yeah, <laughs> Travis just lays it out. Short version is because I got taint punched. <laughs> taint punched. Very aggressively. But not on purpose. <laughs> I love I love how um you know we were talking about Cap not being here for the TMI, because I know Cap, you don't you don't appreciate the TMI as much as some people. And that's fair enough. Um, but I love how Travis is like, no, you're going to find out. You're going to know what this is. All right, now I'm just in looting mode. Let's just get the gas. Get the fudge out of here. Oh, uh, gas, 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 somewhere. Irish gas, where is it? There we go. Accidental taint punch was not something I thought I would hear about today at work. Um, oh, there's a little parking area just below the camp on the road that runs below it. I always park my bike there and grab the gas after I'm going, God damn it. <laughs> well, that's fine. We're here now. We're here now. We're looting. Loot and craft and loot and craft. Or not, just... Ooh, actually, get that, uh... It's the can, there it is. <laughs> Accidental. Oh, it means best regards. Oh, Could you ask them, Scout, uh, what their name is? So I know how, who to say hi to. Cap says it's more of a feeling of slightly embarrassed because it's not most of the stuff, most of that stuff was not discussed when and where I grew up. I mean, yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Like, I, I get it. But if you want, we can do some, like, exposure therapy and just, like, constantly talk TMI around you so you just... It becomes more normalized. Uh, Bob, that sounds like um, the 
the scene in Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom, um, where, uh, oh, what is the name? Uh, Kate, whatever it is. Um, fuck, what is the character's name? Where she bends over and, like, accidentally pushes the switch with her butt. <laughs> Hanging out in this chat is the exposure therapy. Yeah, but we could we could amp it up a notch for you if you want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a like a heavy metal or death metal group. And now, welcome to the stage, Chained Punch. The crowd goes wild. The accidental just adds so much more depth. Yeah. Well, it was during enthusiastic sex, and there was a, I guess, just a slight... Cap, you're going to hear the story now. There was a slight, um, I guess, just to pull out a slight bit too far, and a an attempt to um, get back on target, and attempt failed. There we go. Was the, that was the... <laughs> it fucking hurt. It hurt like, like, like nothing I've ever... Felt down there like it was really painful Good. i didn't know there was like i didn't know it could be that painful i was very surprised yes i rolled a one San sanya or sanja sanya hello um uh jay Savvy says my parents never talked about anything my best friend in high school her mom had never heard of a topic she wouldn't discuss exposure therapy is definitely a thing all right the parking lot the parking lot down here are you talking about this one this one oldg we i literally ran right past this oh there's a bottle oh there's a bottle and some scrap see i'm not seeing a gas can has this game gone weird this morning um so uh oldg you may want to skip back a little ways uh to the beginning of the stream probably about 15 20 minutes in um i really want to hear your opinion on this so jay sabby talked recently about a um question mark encounter where you get kidnapped you get it's the the snare trap and she got out of the the little hut and could not find the box with the loot we got that this morning and the box of the loot, it's not there. Willie, thank you, Scott. That's a name. How appropriate. <laughs> it's Rex keeps saying, geez, how many times must I apologize? <laughs> um, Boo Boo says, oh shit, my keyboard's broke. It doesn't work properly anymore. Oh no. Um, mm, Bob says, I'm not an Indiana Jones fan. Last time I saw one of those movies, I think I was the size of four bit. I love Indiana Jones. The third movie, Last Crusade, is my favorite movie of all time. All right, let's see. Can we make this with just Nitrous One? Save it. Just to be safe. <laughs> Jay Stabby, that's why you sleep with Hawkeye. He never misses. His arrow never misses the quiver. <laughs> um, Marcus is where I work. My co-workers are some of my best friends, including my supervisors. You should hear some of the TMI conversations we have. Luckily, we don't have HR. Oh, shit. shit. Can you share one? Give us an example. I love TMI stuff. Um... Cap says, just don't talk about gross stuff, blood and poop when I eat. I want to enjoy my meal. That is fair. That is definitely fair. Um, if little man is 4-bit and you're 8-bit, does that make your bloke 16-bit or is he built like 32-bit? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I'm trying to think of a funny answer for that. Well, given the, uh, given the conversation we've been having, fuck, I've pressed the thing too soon we're reloading we're reloading um i would say he definitely has a lot of ram put it that way oh 
go, 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 go. Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? We're not gonna make it. No, nope. we need nitrous two. I need nitrous two. You can probably do it with nitrous one. I need nitrous two. Ah, uh, Cap says, yeah, I know sex happens between people, but the people I hang out with tend to avoid talking about that stuff. I remember when I was in college, so I just moved here, just moved here to the States. And I'm in the supermarket, the grocery store. <laughs> Rex says I'm two bit. <laughs> uh, in the grocery store. And you know, they have like the stands by the registers where they have like all the magazines and they have like life and um, people magazine and shit like that. They had, um, fuck this Lana. Oh God, there's two of them. They had Cosmo. And you guys know what Cosmo is like. You know, uh, tips and tricks, the, 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 even the best blowjob or whatever the fuck, I don't know. Shoot it! I know, let him in! Thanks, guys. Um, so we're standing there, we're, I'm with a friend from college, um, we're gonna go get, I don't know, whatever, okay. doing a grocery run, and everywhere. she sees this, like, Cosmo, and, uh, yeah, Cosmo's like PG-13 smut, so it's like, I think it was like 10, 10 tips for going down on your man or something like that, and it's on the, on the cover, so it's not, they're not saying like blowjob or something, it's like, pleasing your man orally or something or, or just maybe it said oral sex or something that's like obviously yeah we're talking about sex but like the word sex is not bad it's not like oh my gosh cover my child's ears like yeah it's sex it's the thing that happens do i want to explain okay. it to my four-year-old no but can he read yet no so it's fine um so uh so she sees okay. this thing and she's like, ew. And I, I, I'm i like, what? Like, what What have you seen? And she's like, oh, God, I wish they wouldn't just, like, put that there. See you later. Like, but what, where? Like, what, what are we talking about? And she's like, points to the Cosmo. And she just didn't like the, the magazine okay. on the stand. That's it. Mentions, like, ways to please your man or ways to, you know, ways to give good head or whatever the whatever the fuck it said um and i'm realizing now that cosmo is very much you know designed for heterosexual women like straight women there's no like how to please your partner it's like how to please your man because as a woman you have a man uh mm. anyway um so yeah it's just like i was really taken about I'm like we're in college you're like 20. how are you how are you being like prudish about this like what what is what is going on i was i was very confused and she just didn't like that it was being brought up especially like in the grocery store which i kind of kind of sort of get it but also like it's some it's cosmo we own a cosmo right um holy shit scotty O's, welcome to elite member thank you scotty i really do appreciate all the support you give this channel and i and my hat. I wasn't wearing it. I'm not wearing it today, but I have it right here in case you showed up. We can put it on. Hey, thank you, Scotty. Um, let me catch up. So Cap says it's like watching a porn movie. Sex happens and imagining people you know having sex or imagining your parents having sex. It's a bit unsettling to imagine that. Yeah, that's why we don't do that, Cap. We don't imagine parents or I mean, I guess people, you know, it's kind of it's a bit intrusive i suppose um no. oh marcus everyone knows what a canker saw is have you ever had one on your penis they suck turns out my supervisor got them once too nice to know uh i was not the only one and no it is not an std how does one how does one get a canker saw normally and how does one get one there Whatever you do, do not put hydrogen peroxide on it. Mm, mm, mm. I once put hydrogen peroxide in my eye by mistake. 
don't do that either. That that was not fun. Um, we'll tell that story in a minute. Yeah, mommy, what's a blowjob? Well, sweetie, only sex workers can call them blowjobs. To everyone else, it's just a blow hobby. Unless you're claiming it on your taxes, it's a blow hobby. Um, it's where you get a job blowing out kids' birthday candles, sweetie. Yeah, characters in books, movies, whatever. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Um. Here, look at this. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oi, oi, lady. What does your shirt say? Anderson Light. That sounds like cigarettes or something. Don't you look up at me and smile. You just knocked over my bike, young lady. With your hairband. How'd you get a hairband like that in the apocalypse? Fine, whatever. You're unarmed. See you around. You know, um. Back in the day, I had a <laughs> that bitch. That's when you get in a blowy chair. Oh, booze man looking so sad. Deke. I don't know about you, but uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. Yes, ma'am. He can't have visitors uh, just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? One-handed, yeah. Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Cap says, I'm okay being a voyeur to strangers, just not people I know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think when it's, like, friends, unless you're, like, in a sort of polyamorous relationship or, or uh, a lot of your friends are, like, into that kind of stuff or whatever, and there's a lot more of, like, a free, free love kind of vibe. But yeah, most people, most people keep that shit private. I just thought you should know. Except for me, apparently. But there's a difference between, like, sharing things that have happened and, like, wanting people to imagine you having sex. <gasps> we got Booze the Shotgun! Oh, fuck yeah, let's go. Let's go. We're gonna... We're using that. We're using Booze the Shotgun. Let's go compare it to the... Howdy. Oh, uh, what do we have? The R. Uh, How's it going? S F. Where am I looking? Oh, uh, S F sixty. So comparison, slight better damage, slight lower range. Um, same magazine. Fuck okay, it, let's equip it. Yeah, good. And then let's switch to that. Good one. So level two. Holy shit, the accuracy on that? And the rate of fire? What? I've literally never used this gun. Um, damn, that's actually pretty good. There's the Liberator. Oh, that's the one I, I like. I want that one. Proudbreaker. I remember getting that for the first time being very disappointed. I was like, this name does not... It does not live up to the hype of the name, I guess. Um, Anyone see the History of the World Part 1 and the Unemployment Line sequence? Mm-mm. Um, might also be a cultural thing and generational thing. Yeah. <laughs> Did you suck dick this week? Did you try to suck dick this week? <laughs> oh, it's like a like if you're a, a sex worker trying to claim unemployment. Ava has some interesting stories. Yes. Yep. I mean, it's kind of like a twofold thing. There's, you know, women off. I don't really have any girlfriends that I share that we share, like, sex talk with, but I know a lot of people do. I know a lot of uh, women are more open to talking about this stuff. So I think maybe it's, maybe it's maybe it's a gender thing? They wouldn't let him in, they rode off. 
Ah, shit. Which direction? Uh, they headed um... west, but they didn't go far. They set up camp just north of Eden Hill. I think they might be planning another attack, so I need you to take a look. <sighs> Bob says, oh no, yeah. the Asperger's is kicking in. So they did the geothumb. They did geothumb. Kin, kin, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Kin's tomb. They realized there are at least, there's a 50 meter long river of mercury between some platform and his actual coffin. Ooh. I'm going to have to look into this. This looks really fascinating. Is there a documentary about it or something that I can, I don't know, that you can see? Because I love to visualize this stuff. Um, that would be really interesting. Uh, did you know in Hungary, prostitution is illegal as long as they pay tax on the earnings? Technically, you get fucked twice per client. <laughs> that is brilliant. Oh my God. That is brilliant. Fucking brilliant. This fucking amazing. I love that. I love that. Um, <laughs> Cap says, I have to admit, I learn a lot from hanging out in this chat. No topic is off limits with my BFF. I've also known her for 30 uh, years. Oh. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? All right. Oh, da, da, da. So we need to get to level three. No, level two. With... Lost Lake, so this will give us how much? 700. That's it? That's not enough. And then this will give us another seven. Wait, 700? Am I reading that right? That gives us 700 trust? Are these two jobs? Are you for real, Ricky? Oh, Drift is at Eden Hill. <laughs> I love this one. Um, all right, let's go do Lynch Man first because it's closer. I used to be a cop, believe it or not. Farewell. I also feel like, um, with talking about this stuff, there's like a, I don't know, I feel like I do have a certain level of responsibility. Like, I'm here talking, saying shit, and I do have a responsibility to, um, try to, try to be, like, factual and shit, or at least, you know, um, out of the infirmary today, man. Hold on, booze, man. You know, I don't want to mislead people, and, like, and yeah, there's a certain, you know, certain ideas and things that I think that we can, sorry. we as a community enjoy, like welcoming, sorry. being welcoming, not being toxic. You know, I like to, I think they call that fan. I like to pain. speak out against yeah, toxicity. And I also sucks. like to promote being open about sex ride, because it's through. Uh, you know, being open about the stuff and I, talking about the stuff. The, we are educated. You know, ignorance Later. thrives in darkness, Later. or whatever the saying is. <gasps> Today I learned, do not put hydrogen peroxide on an open sore on your penis. Never would have learned that if I didn't hang out here. Yeah, basic life lessons. Uh, or you might have learned it the hard way. Mm. Learn from other people's mistakes has always been my philosophy. Ignorance is bliss. And there are a lot of stupid people out there. A lot of happy people out there. Um, mm -mm. Uh, Bob says, now I'm working with Google Images, but if you put in the correct term, you get it. Put in the Kin Shi Huang Tomb Geotherm. They came up with a 3D remake of what they expect is down there. So for anyone watching on YouTube, I'm going to copy and paste that into the chat over on YouTube so you can see it. And uh, if anyone's interested in Googling that. Yeah, I'm open for all discussions to bring awareness to different things. Se sex, health, geotherms, you know, all of that. Are they going to try to capture me here? Is this another... Capture the deke. Out here, there ain't nothing but murderers and drifters and raiders. Um, mm -mm, so there should be a couple guys in here. 
they have a hostage? They do. <sighs> Sounded like he enjoyed that. Okay, so there must be another guy because the hostages aren't help! yelling at me yet. Oh, help! I need help! Oh wait, hang on. This guy's dead. What the hell? This is all being really weird today. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna right. die out here. I know of a camp where it's safe. No, no, where? Where? <laughs> New tip, literally. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. Ooh, that puts us really close. That's actually going to push us over once we do one of these missions. We'll be at level two. Oh, yeah. John, Deacon. They know who I am. Don't stop. Just keep out of sight. Hang on, what was that? Who found you worked at store once and you had a Karen come and complain about the cover of Cosmo at the checkout? She said, I don't want my daughter to see that. Oh, God, I feel sorry for her daughter. Ooh, ooh, fresh machete. Well, don't mind if I do. My other one was 100%, but whatever. This one's new. Uh, would someone mind translating San Sanja or Sanya's comment there, please? Google Translate or something. Um, mm -mm. There was only one kidnapper when I did this one yesterday. There were always two before. Yeah, there's, there's usually two. Oh, fuck, I've got the fucking shitty little, little pistol, I just realized. Oh, come on. No, why? Before he ran, he stole two All right, bags of seed. We need those seeds. Ah, oh, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. We don't have the proximity mines. Normally, we have proximity okay, mines. Uh, I'm sorry. Out. Remote bombs. Okay. Let's Pop up at that dock over there that you can go pick up for free. In college in Chicago, blew my tiny little mind, says Jay Stabby. Grew up in a small rural town, only white people, only straight people, never talk, talked about anything. High school in a larger town, changed that. And then college, blew your mind. Oh, another machete. Cool. I'll never say no to a new machete. It's like yesterday, or a couple of days ago, my neighbor uh, gave me two five gallon buckets filled with chew no not tulips iris bulbs like the plants and uh i don't i don't necessarily need them or or have any real use for them but they give us a lot of like cool free stuff so i will never say no in case they they stop giving us free stuff they're very generous. I like I like our neighbors. We they just have a lot of extra junk and things, and I can always use something. Oh, shit, there he is. Always use it for something. They gave us like about four hundred paving stones, um, which I'm using to redo the drive. It saved us hundreds of dollars. This is gonna take a while. I'm trying to shoot the bike, Deke. Shoot it! No! What's your fucking there? Ah. Oh. Oh. No, Deacon! Oh. Should have kept the little stubby! I'm going as fast as I can. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah. Zylog! Welcome in. Woo. How's it going, Lynch man? What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Um, Thought you just kill a couple yeah. guys right Idris. off. Oh, shit. Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because. See your comments saying second part was interesting too. Wait, what? Did, what was the? 
Get off of me, you son Did of a bitch! I miss one of your comments? Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stashed the Oh, seeds. translation, second part is also interesting. Oh, I got it. I got it. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Um, okay, I'm pretty man, proud that I was able to raise my kid without the quiet racism that permeated my childhood. Ooh, yeah, good job. Good fucking job, Jay Stabby. Uh, I was the opposite. I went from a large town to a town of 301. I went from being around people that were open-minded to damn near racist. Ooh. Her English name is Sonia. Hi. Matt is with us. Hi, Matt. Matt. Art. I see you there. Hello. How are you? Um, people don't really understand what huge culture shock it is. Ah, uh, Mark says there's a town where the steeple of the church looks like a KKK hood. Oh God! Does he have the seeds on his bike? Don't leave me here. Mm. No, no, I didn't see him. I'm not a seed expert. This, that's not my bike. All right, we'll bring him in. Lost like my bike is full. Oh, what I can do. See you, Lynch man. I laugh when I hear people say they're from a small town and it's like ten thousand people. Your town had five hundred. Alyssa, you are back. And Stahl is over on Twitch as well. Hello, hello. Hey, how's it going? Oops, <laughs> I wasn't even intended to run over him. Okie dokie, so... Oh, ride north with Ricky or... Eden Hill. You know I love the Eden Hill one. We'll go to Eden Hill. Then we'll go with Ricky and we'll go back. Um... We need it to be night time. All right, screw it. Let's let's have a look at the weapons and shit we can buy. Oh god, where am I? Lost my bearings for a second. I was like, which way am I facing? Lexi, your town has almost 8,000. Most of the nearby towns, less than 1,000. Wow. Got good shit in stock today. Hey, Buzz. All right, let's refuel. And then... I think I want to get guns before we upgrade the bike. Deek, deek, deek. Deek, deek. Yes, indeed. All right, so we can buy this. There, you are looking this, fine this. today. You can buy a bed and a little stubby. I've never tried it. Let's get it. The guy who sold me that said it was good. Yeah, good. Hmm, that should work. Oh, and we can buy flashbangs now. P break, yes, one second. We will do we'll do a short break. Just a minute. Hey, come around more often. We miss you. I still have coffee. That's why we haven't gone on break yet. Good it's a farming community with very little in the way of business businesses. There's a post office, tavern, library school. So you don't have the diversity that comes with having blue collar and white collar jobs. Alright, let's have a look. Do the engine. Hey, nitrous too. Fuck yeah. Look at the duration difference. I'm probably blocking it. Um, what do we want to spend our money on? Uh, exhaust. Yep. Your bike's looking good now. Fuel tank. There we go. That's what I should have put my money into first. Yeah. I think that's about all we can afford. Okay. Your bike definitely needs some work, man. Oh, shut up. All right, let's take a short intermission. So Travis can go pee, 
Um, who fans says I still swear that Blair wants that big, deep energy? Oh, maybe she does. Um, I just thought she was just the friendly flirt. Yeah, I mean, that's what I've always thought, but who knows? Uh, Zylock says, my mom used to live in a town where the grocery store would close at 5 p.m. Farmers don't much care about anything happening after that time. Uh, Lexi, mostly farming. We have two factories. Hose and pivot irrigation. Bre Wait, breakfast was at 3? Are you for real? It's crazy. Um... Yeah, 99.99999% of guys will assume that girl flirting means something more than friendly. I think it's like she's being... She's being friendly in like a... Quippy, we have a vibe. Like, it's kind of... It's not not flirting, but it's also not flirting. I don't know. Whatever. Let's go to intermission. I'll be back in just a few minutes. So don't go anywhere. We've still got two more hours of streaming. Uh, go take your pee break. Uh, grab a coffee. I'm going to run an ad on Twitch so we can avoid ads for a little while on Twitch for those of you who are not subscribed. Um, so, yeah. A few minutes and we'll be right back. This is hands down. I didn't mean that to be a pun. The best part of this game. We're in Palace Midas. This is Midas's hand and it actually legitimately turns people to gold. The weird symbol they put on it, it's like, it's like a clue. Because in the original, it's like you just think it's the same texture as the other shit you can jump on, so you don't really know. You see the hand, but you're not buying that it's actually going to work, because this would be the first supernatural thing to happen in any other video game, like Resident Evil. What you would have done is like find the thing that you want. You're not allowed to take it or you can't take it because it won't let you out of the room once you take it. So you find the thing you don't want and you can switch it. So that's sort of what I was coming into this level thinking. And then you find this room, and it's like, oh, Midas, Midas. I know that name. Yeah, didn't he, like, turn shit to gold? Oh, maybe maybe there's something in here. Like, obviously, it's a myth. It's not real. We're not actually going to turn lead into gold. And then when you try it out, and it's like, oh, fuck, it actually, it actually works. Well, what would happen if Lara jumped on it? Nothing, right? Because it's just it's a statue. It's, it's not really going to do anything. Do you want it in original? We'll do it in, in new first. Fucking love it! Best death ever! Now let's do it the old fashioned way. <laughs> amazing! Amazing! That sound effect! I know! <gasps> Don't look behind you! There's nothing there. Oh god, there's tons of them. What are we doing, mate? This is a bad idea. You take the right. No, no. No, 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 the gate is not open. Don't make me do this. Don't make me Please don't leave me alone in the swamp. Oh, I'm actually freaking out a little bit by the... I want to put my mask on. The alligators won't see me if I wear my mask. Oh, I am not... I don't even have my shotgun. I don't want this. I'm actually really, really, really not a fan of this. Oh, God. I don't like this. Oh, no. I saw the lamp in the tree. I just realized there's a dude up there. And he's going to be like, no, don't come out. There's a giant gator that's waiting for me. Oh, God. It's going to have red eyes. Oh, my God. So fucking scared. It's going to get us, isn't it? It's going to... Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, boy. I think we hit a tree stump. Hey, I thought we cleared. You're going to need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. No, no, no. Oh, is he gonna get eaten? Oh, God, is he gonna get eaten? Do it? Arthur will go. I will? Quick. Go on, Arthur. Go! I'm not doing it at reviews. Let's let game over. We're gonna play something else. Let's play Days Gone. This is stupid. That is not the way we do things. I do things. Fuck. All right. All right. Oh. Oh. Are you just gonna let him die? No, I'm going to. You fucking idiot. 
Oh, good lord, I see that wave. Oh, oh my god. I was gonna eat him. I was gonna eat him. Oh, I knew it. Oh, shit. Oh, we've seen it. Are you serious? There's no way this guy would be gone. Oh, god, if this controller vibrates, I'm gonna fucking. God. I hate this. I hate this so much. I'm here. I'm here. Do you have any legs? Oh, oh, and he's bleeding. Did he lose his leg? Hang on. Oh my god. We can't see. Can we go? I want to... I kind of want to put the camera under the water. I do not want to see. Shoot something! Oh, oh, oh. Don't look behind you! There's nothing there. Oh god! Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back. Ah, <laughs> I love that video. If you want to see the end of the video, um, that was just playing the Red Dead 2, it is on my channel on YouTube. You have to go over to YouTube if you're watching this on Twitch. That one is on YouTube. Uh, just click the videos tab and you'll you'll see it there. Uh, winners, visionary guides. Hello, welcome in. Um. What was... Yeah, if someone flirts with me, I ask what they want. Um, the old trope of the Yakuza using attractive women to con men on the street. Oh! There's a trope that the attractive women try to sell the man a vase and then knock the vase over and claim that the man knocked it over and demand compensation. That's kind of cruel. Like, you get a man sort of, like, a little bit nervous anyway if he's, like, talking to, like, some, you know, highly attractive woman. Um, and then she starts, like using him and stuff, you've got to be like, wait, 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 like your brain can't keep up. Um, find a rock, put it on the hand, scrape it off, take it home, ka -ching! Hell yeah, that's, that's maybe, oh, ooh, is Palace Midas how Lara Croft gets her millions? Life is cruel. Yeah. I keep reading about these, um, oh, what, what are they called? These, these places where People are kidnapped in, like, this is happening in Asia, like in, I don't know, Cambodia, Thailand, Vietnam, uh, China, like, uh, wherever. They're kidnapped and they're taken to places uh, where they are forced to work as scammers, like phone scammers. And then they're, like, calling, you know, like, Americans or whatever to scam them. And they are forced to do it. It's, like, kidnapped people. So I feel bad because, like, I'm always... When someone's trying to scam me, I'll tell them to, like, fuck off or whatever. And now I'm like, shit, well, what if they are literally working against their will? It, it made... I had no idea that was a thing until recently. Uh, I see a question mark. All right, so we're going to kill some time. We're going to do this question mark while we wait for nightfall and wait for the horde to go down to the lake at Eden Hill. Although this question mark may very well be on the path the horde takes. I don't see anything. Nope. There. You've fought twice if you've been held against your will. <laughs> pig butchering. Yeah, pig butchering. There are several documentaries on YouTube about that. Slavery is a thing no matter what you're being forced to do. Yep. Uh, two women are missing from here. One of them is a minister's wife. It's been like two weeks. Oh, shit, Lexi. It's fucking... Uh, the world is a... The world is a scary place. It has always been a scary place. It always will be a scary place. I did not mean to get off the bike. Um... Yeah, who found? Don't answer phone calls that are not in my contact, so I wouldn't talk to them anyway. I occasionally do, like, if I know I'm expecting a call from, like, a doctor's office or something, you know, I'm trying to make an appointment or whatever. And then it's a scammer, and I'm like, there's a wolf on me. I heard him. I heard him growl and I saw him on the map and now he's going further away. So this mission, if you do it at night, 
there's a horde here that will just wipe out this camp for you. Drifters still here. It's not night time. Well, I guess we'll know soon enough. Deacon out. They normally come and like drink the water from here, and then here are the marauders. So I think we just wait. Gonna wait in this bush. It's the horde. It's the Wapanisha Road horde. It will take a minute to get down from the hill up there. Oh, well, DG, you do the same. I also have a call blocker. Um, Bob says, OJ Simpson can finally be with his wife again. Guy just died. Wait, wait, OJ Simpson just died? Really? Oh God, my phone is like so dark. I can barely see the screen. I have it on like the, the darkest brightness, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. OJ Simpson dies of cancer at age 76. News just broke. Well, damn. Yeah, OJ dead, rotten hell. You just heard about it 10 minutes ago. Uh, Caps says, think about it if you live in a poor country and someone gives you the fake promise of working at a better job where you can send money back to your family. Um, yeah, of course you'd, you'd take that. They usually go there. It's a different country. They have all their papers taken. They're forced to work. Often a different country with a different language. So they're like, they can't ask for help. And a lot of the times they can be like threatened or whatever. Oh, no. Freakers! Get down! Freaks! Oh, oh! Okay, they came in that way. Interesting. Maybe is this the Westfar horde then? Mm -hmm. Well, DG, being a senior retired person, I get too many bad calls, so I tell people, I tell people I know if they aren't in my contacts already, they'd better leave a message. Hell yeah. Um, Nylon Girl, you're back. That was the fastest doctor's appointment of your life. Ah, uh, one more guy. Where are you at? Where is he? Where is he? He's down there. I see his flashlight. Yeah, people who prey on the elderly okay, and rot in hell. And the mission's done and we didn't have to fire a shot. 4,000 XP. 700 trust. Now we could just leave. But I'm compelled to loot. Uh, Bob says the guy gets off a double murder charge, then writes a book immediately after it was called If I Did It. <laughs> How'd it go? This lawyer is like, oh my good fucking god, you idiot. And then, what was the thing recently? Oh, I don't want to be here. Just in the last few years, he was, he was, um, back in court for some, was it like fraud or something like that? Lexi says, my son who's 12 wants to share his phone with a friend from school. I'm really hesitant about this. I've never met the friend. I would say no on that, because 12, I mean, shit, you don't know what this other, if you don't know the other kid, and you don't know that they're necessarily friends, like, is your son getting coerced into sharing his phone? What is this other kid going to do? What, how do you share a phone? Yeah, I'd rather be here than that. Um, I, I would, that's sus. There's definitely, there's definitely susness. Bike saved me from being seen. Well, maybe not. I think that's all me. No, that's loot. Oh shit! All right, never mind. Never mind. Not worth it. Go, go, Deacon. You will run. No, oh, I got stuck in a fucking bear trap. I stepped in a fucking bear trap. Oh 
my god, I stepped in a fucking bear trap. Well, they're dead though, right? Yeah, they're dead. And the horde's gone. Whenever you die in the game, it will, like, respawn you back where you were, but the horde, they won't be shooting up any, more camps. any enemies that you were near, it will, like, put them somewhere else. Yeah, bear trap, my leg! Bear trap. Fucking hell. I mean, I knew there were bear traps here, but... I wasn't expecting that. Well, now we can loot. Now we can loot in peace. Bounty. Um, so they can talk and game at the same time. Oh, God, yeah, too easy to transfer cash via an app. Never lend my phone to anyone I don't know. Too many financial apps linked on my phone. I mean, he's 12, so probably doesn't have anything like that, but no, it's still... No offense to present company. Still kind of sus. Um, uh, and yeah, Mike is. <laughs> there's a YouTuber worse. called Kit know. Boda. Mike, I think it's like you were saying. Um, who pretends to be an Always older person and California. strings scammers along yes, for hours. Is. It's hilarious. Yeah, that does sound I'd funny. I do. There. I do enjoy those uh, scam bait things. But like I said, now I kind of feel. Now I feel bad knowing that a lot of these scammers. It, there's a good chance that some of the scammers that you talk to may be being coerced um, So far, I'm impressed with this gun. I gotta reload. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> Marcus is right, Cap. Financial apps. Mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, gotta protect those financial apps. I just, I don't get sharing a phone number. Oh, that's not a road. That's not a road. That, I was huh? Reading the chat. I don't want to go through road camp, but I gotta finish burning out this infestation. So. Class stepped in a bear trap. Is that karma? Mm, yes. Yes, that is. Karma for what? Though? What did I do? Let's just get the fuck out of here. Yeah, seriously, if someone asks to use your phone for an emergency, I dial the number for them. Share his phone number, no social media or financial apps on the kids' phones. Ah, it's still... You can set up free phone numbers with, like, Google Voice or something, um, which you could, you could use your kiddo's phone number to, like, register that number, but then that number will go through to the kid's phone or to, if they don't need, what do they need the phone number for? Just to, like, register for, like, Discord or something like that. Um, if he's already registered on his phone number, registering again won't work. But you could set up, you could easily, they don't need to share the phone, you could easily just set up a, well, here you go now, you have your own phone number through Google Voice. You here to buy something? If it's about the number, oh, I just, I don't... I'll fill her up. I don't know. Mike's looking pretty busted. I haven't had anyone ask to use my phone. If I want to show them, I turn the phone around and hold onto it. Yes. I'll be here. Yeah, I always get worried when, when I show, like, a photo to someone. Because it's like, my photo roll, I don't, like, organize it in any way. Um, so there may be, yeah, just stuff, even if it's just, like... Pictures I've taken of myself for doing like the thumbnails and there's like some goofy one of me like Wah! or something. You know, I don't necessarily want someone to see that, but also uh, who else? Who knows what else I have on there? I don't want them like scrolling or something. Um, 
Oh, there's nothing more satisfying than hearing a scammer break down because they've been exposed when they think they are untouchable. Uh, Kitboger is more PG-13, but scammer payback is definitely 18 plus here, and a scammer's rage is satisfying. Your wife was kind of $25,000, like, like US equivalent amount of money in Egypt. We got it back. How did you get it back? But I absolutely terrorized the bloke by putting him on social media and telling his workers his money is dirty and haram. Oh, shit. I can't believe you got it back. Not sharing the phone, just the number for Roblox Gaming. I mean, can they not use their parents' phone phone number? Not by any time. And again, if you've already registered, your kid has already registered the number for an account. Having the same, unless it's like for logging in, How's my like they're going to log into the same account. How's life treating you, Blair? Travis's minds would be no, hell no. It just, I don't, I don't get how it's going to, how that would work. I, I've, I mean, they're 12, so they probably haven't put much thought into it. Good one. Um, yeah, especially if you don't know this okay. kid. Uh, good choice. I... All right. I mean, he probably already knows your son's phone number, though, so he could just do it. But I'm guessing it's like it would text you a code that you have to put in or something like that. Um, I don't know. I would set up like a Google voice like a spoof number, basically. Good to see you. Using the phone to play the game just to talk. See that? Like, just can they not just use Discord or something? I don't know. It sounds it sounds like it may cause problems down the line. Um, should we ride north with Ricky, or shall we go? do these missions let's let's go do the mission for coke and the one for tucker we'll, we'll go knock those out let me get the gate oh travis says ricky you want to do the ricky mission yeah google voice number that forwards to his real number would be better or just use discord or some other chat app um mm -mm, let me see let me see what's bob say uh oh held a message oh i see hang on yeah we're gonna that's <laughs> twitch is being weird um you got about twenty one thousand dollars back i can let this forward this go holy shit uh he works in finishing apartments um i work in property too but mainly removals as a side earning his workers are my workers Oh, there are a million people in the city, but the city is only 80 square miles. Everyone knows everyone. If I fucked, up, fucked over one shop here, 10 more would know by the day after tomorrow. Yeah, does this kid, Lexi, does this kid not have a phone of his own? Or an iPad or, or any kind of device? Um, There's a chat in the game. Chat got his brother in trouble a few times. A friend is from school. How did his brother get in trouble? The kid's brother or? Yeah, I would suggest they just use some sort of chat app or something. Uh, Idris, you gotta go. All right, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. And uh, have a great day. I think I'm just not getting how the phone number helps in chat. If the kid doesn't have a phone, then what are they chatting on? And if they're chatting on something else, then why not choose an app on that? I presume he has a phone. So why does he need your... He doesn't need your kid's number. Something's weird with that. He doesn't need your kid's number to chat if he has a phone. And like I said, they could chat on some some sort of app, whether it's 
Discord or WhatsApp or... I don't know, whatever. I had something sus happen to me uh, yesterday morning. I come out of my house taking my kiddo to school. And there's a lady across the street. There's like an alleyway sort of kind of across the street. Oh, shit. Go. Oh. Um, and she's sort of like lingering in the mouth of the alleyway, but sort of also kind of on the sidewalk. And she, I think I told, did I tell the story yesterday? I don't remember. She sort of said something about, um, it's all right. about the school bus or happen. something. I didn't quite hear her. So I just sort of, you know, smile and nod and say good morning. And she kind of does that whole, oh, excuse me. Deacon, my man. And I'm like, oh God, here we go. Um, and she tells me that her car has broken down. I had seen it. Her battery has died. Hey, Damon, how's the gun trade? Going? And she needs a jump. Nice. And I'm like, well, all right. Like, where's your car at? Like, I don't see I'll the car. And um, she, I, I kind of say, oh, I don't, I don't think I've got jump cables. Hey, She's like, oh, I've got some. Got a bounty job for you. And I said, oh, I'm, I'm listening. Like. Sorry, I, I got to take my kiddo to school. Like maybe if you could walk up to the the gas station that's just down the street, someone there will probably be able to help you. And she she had like a crutch, like a just one, and she was like, "Oh, I can't really walk that far. It's not. It's really not very far." But I'm like, I. It just seems sus because I'm like, I don't see your car anywhere. So you've walked from your car to here. Hey, you didn't think to walk life. from your car to the gas station and like she didn't say that she lives here but she kind of it had vibes of like well if your car needs to jump is your car at home and if it's at home why aren't you asking your neighbor or why didn't you say like hey neighbor you know i live just down the street here um and i need a hand like she didn't lead with that it was just so weird it was so like, I just got vibes. I couldn't figure out what the angle was, unless she was planning to kidnap me or my kiddo. Um, but then I saw her later when I came back. I saw her standing on um, the street that's perpendicular to ours. And it's like, well, you made it that far. She's just like standing around, like waiting for someone to walk past. It was so weird. It was just really weird. I couldn't figure out what the what the angle was or what she was doing, but it was definitely sus. Definitely got sus vibes. And that's what I'm getting, Lexi, with with your kid. It's like there are there are different ways to accomplish what you're saying you want to accomplish. There are easier ways. So I don't buy that what you want to accomplish Copy that. is what you're saying. Wow. save it. Can you save it? Um, mm -mm. Oh, your son's twin. Okay, got it, got it. Uh, my boys are allowed to play on my account. They are not allowed to use headphones or use chat. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good rule. Um, I kind of like the idea of actually voice talking over chat just not sharing the phone number. Yeah, but there's like, there's apps you can do that. Bufan says, it's so sad that our society is to the point where you can't help someone in trouble because there are so many people out there who will con you, hurt you, or kill you. I mean, yeah, but it's always been that way. It has, certainly for women, it's always been that way. Women, are, we generally need to be always suspicious but like i said this was this was a woman she was kind of an older woman she was on a crutch but that was just like i'm getting vibes of this is cosplaying as a helpless person they didn't seem genuine there's just something that j just did not seem genuine um and especially after the other week when we almost got broken into uh the scammers and dishonest people ruin it for the people who really need help mm-hmm yeah, if you get that vibe, listen to it. That's usually your brain trying to save your ass. Absolutely, absolutely. If you get like, mm, this doesn't feel right vibes, it's a scam. 
is a scam or you're going to get hurt or something. Just the worst case scenario is that person was genuine and I didn't help her and she had to spend another half hour or so of trying to find someone else to help her. That's the worst case scenario for her in, in what happened. Like that was it. And I feel slightly bad, like maybe she did need help. But it wasn't like she was being murdered and I just turned a blind eye. Like she, her car battery died. She'll figure it out. It's not the end of the world. Probably trying to lure you. And that's the thing. It's like by the alley. And she didn't really gesture to where her car was. But it's like you're standing by the alley and you're not gesturing where your car is. Like I would say, oh, my car is just down here. I live at such and such a house. My car's broken down. Can you give me a, a jump? Like I would be a little more open with information if I needed help. And that's where I was like, mm, this is sus because you're just being very vague. Um, mm, I see YouTube videos where people aren't helping someone in the comments or roasting those, not helping the person, but I basically assume that someone is going to try and rob or scam me. Dandy Denny, hello, hello, welcome in. Welcome in. Um, it's really just changed since I was his age. Internet didn't exist. And you said one phone, the one phone in the house is a landline. Yeah, I mean, shit, this, it's weird as parents, like parenting children in an age where you have the internet, phones, iPads, um, all sorts of weird scams and shit that you have to learn. And like, I grew up, we didn't have the internet when I was a kid, but like I grew up with it sort of developing and, and seeing these scams unfold. And I think nowadays it's like, like Spawn of Rex, uh, she is, she just turned 18. So she is now an adult um, and she's going to be going to college soon. And it's like, I don't, I don't know how much exposure she's had to scams and to sketchy people. I don't think she's had enough exposure because she's been, you know, um, not, yeah, she's been well looked after and not sheltered, but like, it's that balance of like, how do you, how do you get a kid to learn about bad people and scams and things like that? But obviously you want to protect them from those things. How, how did they learn? Like we've all kind of learned, you kind of learn the hard way in a way. Uh, Lexi says it's really changed. Yep. Since, since I was his age, sketchy vibes are sketchy. Uh, I constantly tell my parents, never answer the door in this day and age. Anyone who really needs to reach you can reach you by methods that don't involve face-to-face -face interaction. Yes, and that was how I nearly got broken into. Uh, we'll get onto that in a minute. Um, I want to go over to Twitch. Sigur, hello, hello. Um, and Bob is saying, sorry, I, I'm trying to scroll back. Oh, so you were just, you hounded this guy to get your money back. I mean, good for you. There were two women in his office that at that moment I tried warning them that they were going to get their money stolen. Oh, I later realized they didn't listen to me. The guy sold about 30 grand from them. Oh, shit. Good grief. So go, you got scammed for $150 trying to buy a concert ticket. Oh, sad day as a college student. What was the concert? Um, you want to protect someone, but they also need to be aware of the world around them. It's, it's such a... It's such a hard balance. It is such a hard balance. Okay, so I found this on a couple playthroughs ago. There's a neat little spot here for this mission. And I didn't have a sniper rifle at the time, but now we have one. Old Lady Deep Geek, I live in a rural area where a lot of shady stuff and crime happens. That's why, although I don't talk about it or open carry, I do have a concealed carry permit and I keep it on me when I'm working outside. How's it going? There he is. Right, no, no. Which motherfucker? Target down. All right, now to kill everyone else. Um, stay strapped or get clapped. F those scammers who prey on the younger people. I mean, just F those scammers in general, Rooney. 
Oh man. Yes. Got it. Finally. At last. Do you think they've noticed yet? Twenty-eight out of fifty states don't even require a permit to carry concealed now. Hmm. Right, there's at least one more over there. Probably two or three. I lost count of how many people we've killed. See flashlights here. Yeah, there's one or two this way. So yeah, the other the other day, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had someone try to break in because they thought no one was home. Because I'm like, I'm not answering the fucking door. You're a salesperson. I've since ordered some uh, no soliciting signs. So it's like, if you're knocking on my door, I will open it and yell at you uh, because you should not be here. So you will find out the hard way. The fuck off. Um, but in theory, in theory, if you're trying to, so if you're a, a, trying to sell something, hopefully you won't knock on the door. I mean, I know a sign doesn't stop anyone. Physically, they are still able to walk past the sign and knock on the door. Um, but hopefully that will deter actual, um, like sellers. And then if there's someone that's like trying to break into a place, um... Like, this guy was, he had vibes of, I'm selling something. You know, he was trying to look like someone who sells shit. Like, a, you know, a solar panels or d d check out this different um, electricity company or whatever. Um, but he was clearly trying to just see if anyone was home. So hopefully they see those signs and they're like, well, I can't play my I'm trying to sell you something line if you have no soliciting signs. I don't know. I mean, it's not going to necessarily stop anyone from trying to break in. But maybe it will deter them from trying my house. I don't know. That's my hope anyway. Um, J Sabi, you live in a rural area. Uh just a bigger one. We have like seven thousand people, tons of farm ground, drug trafficking. Oh my god, drugs. Now that is something that has gotten crazy. Like that is demonstrably like we have the statistics on how prevalent that is as a problem um in our society. Did we pick up the bounty? Because I see red on the map. I didn't think we picked up the bounty yet. Shit, I must have done. Oh yeah, that was him. Fuck. When you pick up the bounty, it triggers the runners. Which in theory you could just... Um, oh, excuse me. You could, if you could sneak in here, just come and pick up the bounty, and then the runners will get distracted by all the other marauders. Ah. <laughs> oh shit, that's one. No! Take a deep breath. I don't really have very good guns to fight runners. 
but I do have a machete. The Joker Gamer. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in. From that walker again. Bring me his bandana. I want to see it for myself. Cope out. Yeah, of course you do. You hang your target these shoulders on the door. I was thinking about that. I did put up two big orange beware of the dog signs. Um, one on the, we have like a, a side gate and like a little fence to stop people getting in the back garden. So I put beware of the dog signs. Our neighbors do have two fucking nasty ass dogs. They actually are legally required to have beware of the vicious dog signs because their dogs actually attack things. And they, I, I hate it. If I'd known that they had fucking pit bulls or whatever they are, aggressive they are aggressive dogs one of them is is not a good dog i feel bad for the dog i'm not you know i said it before i'm an animal lover uh so i do feel bad for the way we've bred dogs into you know craziness and and aggression and and health problems and things like that like it's not the dog's fault but i don't want to live especially having a four-year-old i don't want to live next to somewhere that has like big vicious dogs that kill animals they killed our neighbor's cat that got in the garden so anyway um the uh i figure if someone there's a good chance that if someone does try to get over the fence or make too much noise in the garden that the neighbor's dogs will set off and they'll start hearing aggressive loud barking yeah. and hopefully think that it's our dogs and think that they're about to get their face torn off and we'll fuck off um but yeah we do have the the targets uh i could put up rex's which is way better than mine um ryan you got a lunch date with a girlfriend oh have fun have fun with that um Hmm. Hey, someone's here. Oh, Jay Sabby, we're right in the interstate so they can set up in the woods or the fields. By the time the police arrive, they could be on the interstate and gone. Yeah, this house is protected by Smith and Wesson. I also have one of those cap, a no soliciting sign. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, a working from home, do not disturb. Yeah, I have one that's going to go on the door. And then uh, that's the working from home. So people know I'm home. Because I don't park my car on the driveway. So it looks like no one's home. But like, I'm here. I'm here. Barring like an hour a day, I'm here. Come to me. You volunteering? Never thought I'd see the day. My bike. Go see me. They usually do some pretty mean stuff to that dog to make it to the dog to make it vicious. This dog is just bored. This dog is bored. I feel bad for it. They keep it in a concrete yard. Oh, fucking thing. Um, if you have a chihuahua called Precious, you need to be shot. Chihuahuas are not precious. Chihuahuas are nasty dogs. They, they are very aggressive. And they're so tiny. Um, drastically reduced stamina cost from rolling. Yes, 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 yes. We finally got it. Alrighty. I definitely think there are breeds that are more likely to be dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never heard of like a golden retriever, you know, viciously killing its owners and three children or whatever. Um, there are pitbull ad advocates that will claim otherwise, but I don't believe them. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is at this point the nature of the animal. We have bred them that way. It is the human's fault. It is not the dog's fault. I'm not saying it's the dog's fault. This is what we've made them do. We've made an aggressive species. And then we're like, oh, but it's not aggressive though. I'm like, well, yes, it is. Individual dogs may be fine, but the species, we have made it that way. That is what we fucking did. It's bonkers to deny it. Mohit, hello! Days gone stream and dinner. Ooh, what are we having? What did you make for everyone? Should we come over right now? 
Dogs named, dogs named Princess are usually nightmares. Yep. Um, one second. I just need to. My windows have moved around. Oh. There we go. Um, mm, who is lurking in the shadows? Cap. Cap is lurking in the shadows, lurking and working. If you will can. Needed this. You can never assume a dog is nice based on its breed any more than a dog is guaranteed to be vicious. Yep. Cats are vicious too. Not in the same way though. They are not, um... They will fuck you up. I've been on the receiving end of cat claws. They are animals with sharp um, killing blades attached to their feet and hand, well, hands, you know, their feet. Um, and they are predators. But with cats, they are also prey to a lot of things. So a lot of their... Um, they don't really have the aggression that a dog would have, necessarily. Uh, they have more... more of like a defensive aggression like if you if you if they are scared and cornered oh yeah they will fuck you up they will fuck you up um yeah, my cat isn't vicious she's just an asshole yes it's like i'm not saying it's the cats will never hurt you i they they will they absolutely will but it's like a different kind of thing they won't just like not like the way you're looking at them and take offense and Try to eat your face. But they are they are carnivores, yeah. They are carnivores, they are hunters. Um, it will definitely try to eat you if you're like mouse size or something. But for humans, they're not gonna come at you unless they feel threatened. And I mean maybe that's you could say the same with with dogs and stuff. Obviously, all animals will will act defensively <laughs> you will respect a cat they will make you yeah that's right i gotta burn up i think it's also just a little different because a, a cat like a domestic cat is not going to kill you even if it wanted to even if it was like yeah i want to murder this bitch it, it will it will scratch you it will hurt i mean i've i, I have the scars um and my cat wasn't even trying to attack me when she gave me a big scar across my face. Um, yeah, a thousand trustful lost lights coming up. Come on, headshot. There we go. Ooh. Let me get you out of there. You're gonna die out here. I know Sugo, you love your cat? What's your cat called? What is it? everyone who has a cat? Oh, everyone has pets Where? right now. Tell me, Show me what pet you have I'll go. and what they're called. What well, their name is. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Oh, man, I... I was done for. Holy shit. A Maine Coon could probably kill you if it wanted. I mean, Maine Coons, they're practically tigers. Snow leopards. They're like little snow leopards. Uh, Travis, you have two boxes. Dixie and Mosby? Mosby? Go, go, go. Oh, who found my last pet? Cat named Taffy died at the age of 17. Oh, about 15 years ago. Oh, Taffy. <laughs> the fruity chews guy. Yep, he's always getting in trouble. Minister Bobcat. I mean, yeah. Uh, who found you have two beagles? Named Sparky and Jasper. Oh, you had. Oh, I'm sorry. Died in 2002, 2004. Oh. Mel. Hello, Mel. You have two cats named Georgie. Sorry, I'm trying to drive and read Georgie and. Nemo! Nemo and Georgie, 16 and 18. Whoa, that's old, old cats. 
Blue and Angus. Yeah, Dandy Denny, I've seen pics of your, your little poppers. They're so cute. Um, OLDG, my dog is a Morky named Peanut. I don't know that. And my cat's a Japanese bobtail named Molly. Oh, Peanut and Molly. That's crazy. Um, Lexi, two cats, Zoe and Loki. And Border Collie Mix named Eva. Aww. Uh, Bob says, uh, my wife has four cats, Mocha, Vanilla, Monkey, and Tina, that we call a tuna. <laughs> and you have a stray that you look after. He's a mix of a pharaoh hound, Labrador, and golden retriever. Pharaoh hound. I don't know that. I don't know that breed. Let me have a look. I can't believe OJ Simpson said pharaoh hound. Oh, shit. That is a good looking dog. Damn. That looks like a fast, 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 fast dog. That's insane. The, um, the legs on that. I don't know if you guys can see that if I'm holding it in the right place. Hopefully the light isn't shining off it too bad. Yeah, living version of Anubis. So it's a pharaoh hound. And a bit of Labrador and a bit of Golden Retriever. So is he probably like a large pharaoh hound? Because Labs and Retrievers are pretty large dogs, right? Almost looks like a Red Doberman, yeah. So a Morky is a maltese Yorkie mix. Hmm. Yorkshire Terrier. Interesting. Yeah, I don't I don't really know anything about about dogs um beyond I guess just the basics. Never been a dog person. My mom was scared of dogs. When I was a kid she'd be like uh she was like warn me away from them. Which, you know, is is fair. It's a fair thing. You don't want a young child um around dogs you don't know. I got you covered. Oh, the, the dog does. The dog doesn't know the kid. Um. Oh God. Speaking of being afraid of things, so you, you guys know I don't like spiders. Um. I. It took every fiber of my being. The other day to not give my kiddo a phobia of spiders. I've worked really hard to not show fear in front of him of things that we don't need to be afraid of and I, I talked to him about you know black widows and stuff we had a conversation about that the other day about we don't touch webs and spiders and things like that we asked mommy if it's a good spider or a spider that's going to get defensive and hurt us um, oh. No! Damn it! oh hey bro am i in your way am i standing in your way Knock it off. Knock it off, man. Um Russell, hello. And Boo Boo, you have a you have a little tiger called Benny. And Aaron, let's go. Day's gone time. Hey, okay. So the other day what you got. Kiddo um was was still not level three. I don't even know why I'm looking at this. Uh Kiddo was getting in bed and he has like a, a raised up bed, like a lofted bed. It's like three or four feet high. And he has like a little area underneath that I've put some like little cute string lights up and he, he up ke keeps these little Polaroid pictures that he likes to take. We have those pinned up on the wall, some of his stuffed animals and like a big like pillow and a blanket so he can lay under there and like read and stuff if he wants yeah. to. It's like a little, like a little reading nook kind of thing. And uh, he went, he was going to have a nap. This must have been on Tuesday. Hey, Bet you're here for your bike, right? And um, yeah, yeah. John. Job in progress. Wait. Did we get it already? Yeah, we just got it, didn't we? I don't even remember what mission that is. Um, so he's like snuggling under the bed. He's like, I want to sleep under the bed. I want to sleep in my little reading nook. I was like, yeah, okay. There's a, it's a wood floor, but we have like a rug down there and stuff. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's comfy enough for, a, you know, a nap for an hour. Um, and if he gets uncomfy, he can move. And so I'm getting him tucked up in there, and he hasn't really, like, played under there in a while. So you know where this is going. Um, 
I'm I'm standing next to the bed. I'm just like picking like a book or whatever that we're gonna read. And he says, "Mommy, there's a spider on your leg." That's right. I gotta finish burning out this. God. Oh so. my god. Oh my god. Uh, I have to like kind of say like, "Oh, is there?" And we just that morning been talking about black widows. So I'm like, I'll come back internally later. screaming, and I want to be like. Yeah! And like slapping my legs, but I'm just like You're calmly. That's not too smart. I like look down. And I'm like, where? I don't see it. And he's like, it's right there. It's really big. Oh my god. Oh my god. So calmly, I keep looking, and uh, there is a fucking massive spider. Massive spider on my leg. Now it was one of those like daddy long legs types. It wasn't anything too scary, um, but it was crawling up my leg on the back of my leg so it was like hard to see and I was worried that I was gonna like lose sight of it as I try to get it off and I'm like I'm not touching this thing I don't touch spiders we don't do touching of spiders so I get the book that I've just picked up and I like get it on the book and like flick it off my leg <laughs> and it starts running across the floor and like hides on um like the side of the side of like his his, his vent or something like that and I'm just like, oh my god, oh my god, internally, oh my god. And I say, oh, it's just a, it's a daddy long legs, like it's fine. Oh, it's this again, it's this again, it's this again. We've got the same, the same question mark came up, and I bet it's the sleeping motherfuckers again. Um, and he, he was like, Harvestman, yes, who fan, Harvestman spiders. I know, I always call them Harvestman, that's what we call them in the UK, it's the proper name for them um here in the u.s they call them call them daddy long legs and um people get confused when i say harvestman so yeah harvestman spider not a scary spider hmm, okay no marauders um but still it was big it was a big one it was a big one i didn't want it on me i said like, i don't care if you're not gonna eat me i don't want you on me I do not want any spiders on me no thank you Granddaddy long legs. Oh, technically not a spider. What are they harvesting, says Dandy Denny? Oh my god, that's a horribly good question. What are they harvesting? I don't want to know. Um, and then, so he's like, no, mommy, I don't want it in my room. Because I was like, well, it's fine. It's just a little spider. Like, it's it's okay. It's a good spider. Like, I'm trying to be calm and, like, like I said, not scare him. Have him respect nature and and be interested in all sorts of things if he wants to be a spider whatever scientist that's not for me to say that he can't be you know yeah, why would someone call it that um but he was like i don't want it in my room so i'm like well what well, what the fuck am i supposed to do now i have to kill it or get it out of there so i just um very oh, quietly shit. went and got tissue and just business. like okay mommy's mommy's taking it out of here I caught it in the tissue just flush it down the toilet harvesting your soul oh it's this one oh yeah i rolled into harmless damn it forgot what mission we were on um mm, bob says did you know the harvestman spiders have the most toxic venom on the planet but have no fangs to inject it with apparently i'd heard that but then I heard that that wasn't true, so I don't I don't know I don't know what to believe. Is it um you know big arachnid trying to talk up the harvestman? Because I'd heard that they will eat or fight with or whatever black widows. So I'm like, well fuck yeah, you're welcome in the house. I don't want black widow. We get black widows here. We had them more in California, in LA. We had them fucking all over the fucking place. Man, I hated, I hated that. And here, last year, we moved in a couple of years ago, and I didn't see any. And I was like, yes, no more Black Widows. And then I built a deck last year, and uh, yeah, there's Black Widows all over it. What the hell? Shit. Stand still, mate. Stand still. Shit. That was a good shot. I like that one. Pretty fucking good. BOP says, whew, almost missed the whole thing. You have missed a lot, BOP. You have missed a lot. You may want to 
You may want to go back and rewatch some of it. Um, but Walkman, hey. I can still like feel the spider on my leg. Yeah. Oh. Like I'm, I'm like I want to, I want to move my leg. I wanted to like go and wash my jeans, because <laughs> I was like, I don't, I don't like touching things that have touched spiders. I know it's really weird. It's, I mean, it's a phobia. Not supposed to be logical. I'll say. I'm in here. Shh, awesome. Holy shit. That's it. Ah. He's right here. He still is. I think that other red on the map might be upstairs. Hmm. Oh, Jay Sabby, you're allergic to spiders. They can stay away. Damn, all of them. Um, so they're just gross, not gross and deadly. Oh, who found it? Googled it. They don't have any venom at all. I just looked up what harvestmans eat. And yes, you don't want them on you. Pretty nasty. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? Who? What? What do they eat? What do they eat? Uh, Dandy Denny, you've never seen a black widow in real life, but I've seen brown widows and brown recluses. Ugh, and I've... I've seen what a brown recluse does up close no thank you no oh he's got a helmet on <laughs> over him I was hoping it might catch his helmet or something like that oh he did Burn, you oh yeah, you saw the XP pop up. We killed him. We killed him. Nice. <laughs> Wait, they eat. They eat shit. No, do they? So, Jay Savvy, you swell up and all that fun stuff. I have to get really painful shots. Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. Oh, nasty. That's no fun. Um, they eat carrion. Hey, Larson. Oh, hey, I was looting. Hey, John. You know, I thought I'd come into town, find a drink, hang out with my buds. As soon as I cut, you'll lose. Oh, Bob says, but speaking of scammers, the sex pest scammers are as funny as they are repulsive. Go, run. Send Bob and Virgin for 20,000 rupees. I'm... I feel very fortunate in that I don't... I don't fall for scams. Um... It would take a lot to to bamboozle me. And even if I may not know what the scam is, like I said, with this woman who is asking for a jump, I'm still, I have the wherewithal to be like, no, nah, this is, this is sus in some way. Like, I'm not falling for this. I don't know what it is you're trying to do, but I'm not falling for it. Okay. <laughs> 
but yeah, people who who fall for scammers, especially ones who lose fuck tons of money, and then there is no recourse a lot of the time. Bob, you are really lucky that that person was like an in-person scammer, not like a. It was like someone that you kind of sort of knew. I don't know about snakes. I love snakes. I love snakes. We saw saw a snake at the zoo the other day. Like it was, um, it was not an exhibit. It was we were at the zoo and it was also visiting at the zoo. Um, no idea what kind of snake it was. I don't think it it wasn't like a rattlesnake or anything kind of poisonous. Um, it was just like a grass snake or something. Oh, we can get these. We can get these injectors while we're here. Let's do that. about those um but yeah i have no problem with snakes at all no oh god i was looking at the map ram recluse spiders are pretty common here no nylon girl no not a thing that's they don't exist spiders aren't real did you know that it's a conspiracy it's a joke it's a joke it's like birds work for the government and spiders aren't real mm -hmm. yeah totally a couple garter snakes randomly appear in your kitchen yesterday like they just spawned in Nurik, hello, hello. Welcome in. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How are you? Nice job. I'll have an outline keep a look out for it. Oh, 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 oh. I'm in the chat. Um, oh, it's a meme. If you put Bob and Virgin even jokingly on Facebook, you get an instant ban for 30 days. How is that? How is that a I don't know that one. I don't know that meme. Like, what does it, what does it mean that constitutes getting an instant ban? Ooh, free meat. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> Zylok says, mmm, snake jazz. Are we getting TMI again? Are we going down there? Are we getting after dark, not safe for work? Yeah. Hmm. Like, I went to the bathroom and they weren't there. I came back and they were there. Well, I hate to break this to you, nylon girl. But they were there before. They were there the whole time. What did you do? Were they, like, what kind of snakes? What, what snakes did you say? Garter snakes. So those are, like, dinky, not going to hurt you. My phone t tried to turn into snacks. <laughs> oh, your mother is petrified of snacks. I mean, snakes. You just picked them up and took them outside. Yeah, fair enough. I don't know what I would do if I saw garters. I have no experience with snakes. Um, I mean, I've held, like, pet snakes and stuff, and I've seen snakes, like, in the zoo and things, but I've never had them in my house. So... I, I wouldn't... I'd be, like... I don't think it's poisonous. I don't think it could bite me. But do I really want to find out? You want to find out the hard way? Did we go? Yes, we went. I know. Ooh. <laughs> Don't step on snack. Yeah, you're like, what the fuck? Like, uh, hello? You could have knocked. Like, how long were you in the bathroom? An injector. All right, let's have a look. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. let's go with focus or shit. stamina. Uh, let's go with stamina. Mm. Again, like trying to make sure we're ready for the Carlos fight, which is not super hard, but still. Um, snakes are usually just an avoid me and I avoid you, but inside. Yeah, inside it has become a problem, regardless of, of, regardless of how you feel about snakes, you, and whether or not the snake is, yes, I look venomous, not poisonous, venomous, there is a difference. Uh, sir, will you please refuel? Thank you. <laughs> you were gone like five minutes, if that. Um, but yeah, it's like, how, how does, how does one pick up a snake? Garter snakes will bite, but they aren't venomous. It just hurts a bit. 
I learned that as a kid. Oh, we catch baby snakes on our glue traps in our building? Oh. Rex says, I prevented a person from getting scammed once. She was on the phone talking to someone and purchasing a stack of gift cards. I think he's told the story before I remember this. I'm going to let him type out the next bit. Uh, BOP says, on my last playthrough, I made a point of picking up meat wherever possible. Roadside survivor missions. I never got my camps to trust three so fast. Uh, you can write in a private message, but if you put it in a post... I'm part of an offensive memes group on Facebook. I put it once or twice and it's always landed me a ban. How offensive is it? You have king cobras where you live. The way they kill is terrifying. The, ooh, their venom plots the blood, turning it into a jelly-like consistency. Americans would call it jello. Um, it solidifies the blood. It will kill in less than 30 minutes. There's no known antidote. They've been unable to make one from the King Cobra. Ooh. They didn't even try to bite me. I just swooped them up and they coiled around my hand while I relocated them. Um, did got a stockings bite? I don't think so. Um, mm -mm. you're bit by a King Cobra. Beg for a bullet in the head. Oh my God. venomous snakes do they have in Oregon? I'm just thinking for like the deacon and you know all the survivors there you got to worry about that shit. He went to the grocery store yeah but that was after the snakes. Okay I think we've got Got everything from here. We've done almost all the encampment jobs. No infestation zones, because we're not allowed. All the ambush camps, no hordes, because we're not allowed. We've got the Nero checkpoints done, the research sites done. We've missed three bits of intel. Hmm. Not that we're really trying to get all of those. Um, this, we've done four. We only have one more job left for Copeland until the end of the game. You can only get five jobs from Copeland out of six until end game. We did one of the infestations as we had to do that. We've done none of the hordes. We have Mr. Nero research site. Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get that one right now. And only half the intel again. Hmm. Ah, oh, Western Diamondback. In Oregon. Our dandy Dan says we brought home a little black snake on big pats of toilet paper or paper towels from a warehouse. Oh no! Free with every purchase. Lots of rattlesnakes. Do they have rattlesnakes in Oregon? I suppose they probably would, yeah. Western rattlesnake, not diamondback. Rattlesnakes in the dry part of the state. And people wonder, says Jay Savvy, why I'm an indoor girly. Trees. Trees that we can go through. <laughs> oh, I see your message there. I will read it in just a second. Uh, driving and uh, reading the chat is tough. Um, I've only seen one once. They're surprisingly shy. Thank fucking God. Um, they're not as aggressive as you might imagine, but you still don't want to poke one with a stick. So kids chasing one once. They ran into a sugarcane field. I always remember that line from Crocodile Dundee 2. When Mick is hiding from the cartel, the cartel leader says to his associate, Stop. You Would you chase a snake into a cane field? Oof. <laughs> the freakers ate them all. Oh, can you imagine infected snakes? There's an X on the map. What is the X for? Oh, 
Oh god, no. No, 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 no. No, no. I know we can't make it anyway, but no. Um, who fancies we have three types of venomous snakes in Virginia? The cottonmouth, the copperhead, and the timber rattlesnake. I haven't heard of that one. No, thank you, says Dandy Denny. Infected state snakes would start hunting people. I've always, for a long time, thought the sawmill should have been filled with infected spiders. Like, 50,000 of them or something. Oh, I see you. I see you. That was a trap. Fuck me. Did you see that guy lying on the ground? You were trying to trick me. Where are your friends? And you only had a rag. Why were you lying on the ground? Who's got a flashlight on? That sounded like Boozer. I know it wasn't, but that sounded like Boozer. Where is this person? I see no red on the map. What is happening? This game has been weird today. Lucas Knight, hello, hello, welcome in. Oh, and Arthur Shaw and um, Sifa, did I say that right? Hello, welcome in. Um, I see the hi, I see the hey. Are you going to play Stellar Blade on its release? You know, I have been considering it. It looks really fun. Not sure. How interested are you guys in Stellar Blade? Scale of 1 to 10. Um, we have them. We have Cottonmouth in Indiana, Illinois. Water moccasins and two types of rattlesnakes. Danny Denny. Uh, have you ever noticed in this game when you are in the dry areas, you sometimes hear a rattler? I think they were originally going to put them in, make them something Deke would interact with, but it got cut. Yeah, I mean, I like how they're in Red Dead 2. Oh, maybe in the first one as well, but I like how the snakes will just, like, fuck up your horse. Um, Cottonmouth and Watermox in a different name to the same species. Yeah. Oh, there he is! Yeah. What else is here? Where are you? There you are. Oh, damn. I love it. I love that the game is, like, getting sneakier. Well, I'm not really getting sneakier, but it's giving me these sneaky sneak. Sneaky little missions. Sneaky little marauders. Uh, Mohitsu says, ever since I played Resident Evil 5, I'm afraid of snakes in games. It was always like a mini jump scare from bushes or pots you had to break. Even in my first time playing Days Gone, I was cautious. Um, is the stream constantly buffering? Are we, it should not be. Um, YouTube seems solid. People watching on Twitch, how are we doing on Twitch? Travis, if you're still here, could you hop over to Twitch and just give it a check? Let me know. I must have run right past those guys and just didn't see them. No buffering on YouTube, says Travis, Dandy Denny. Yeah, how are we doing on, on Twitch? No buffering on Twitch. Yeah, Bob, it must be... Try restarting your app or your um, your browser, if you're on PC, if you're on desktop. Or try restarting your router as well, if, you, if it's like a Wi-Fi issue or something like that. Fuel, yes. Oh, here we go. Scott says the Marauders tried to do this to me last night until I showed them my MG55 whipping out the big gun. Did you whip it out and they were like, oh my. Yeah, no, we're not we're not fighting with that. Uh 7 30 in the evening, everyone might be using the network. Our internet here is by a SIM card router. The network might be overworked. Dandy Denny also looks good for you on Twitch. And now it's all sorted. Okay, good. Ooh, gunpowder. Do we need gunpowder? Don't need gunpowder? Come on, we must need gunpowder. 
can we build? Pull up on everything. Oh no, we can make a smoke bomb. Hey. It never gets old, does it? Uh, Silent, you made some toast. So I'm buttering, <laughs> but the stream is fine. Yep, did you make enough for everyone? Um, I'm still, Lucas Knight says, I'm still convinced, 100% convinced you did the voice acting for Star Citizen ASOP terminals. What is that? Mm, everyone can have a piece of toast. Bought the whole loaf. You get a slice and you get a slice. What was going on there? Can you get off the bike, sir? Come on, in the fucking head. There we go. <laughs> reload, Deacon. I pressed the button. Why did you not reload? Yeah, I saw the body leaning up against the tree, but I think it's all always there. I thought it was covered in mold for a second. This is always here. I just wanted to stop and check it out in case it was like something to pick up. Automated ship organization program. Well, I hate to disappoint you, but I can neither confirm nor deny. But that is my voice. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Uh, Mohit says, how to survival two plus no Nero upgrades sound for next time. Have you already done this? I have not already done that. And yes, I will be up for that. Totally will be up for that. Survival two, no Nero upgrades. Ooh. It would be tough, but yeah. So no injectors, but could we could do skills though? Skills, skill points? Or no to that as well. Where the hell am I going? I knew I'd driven right past it. Oh, I see, I got close enough and it just took it off the map for me. Thank you for doing that, Matt. He can go, go, go. Hey. Oh, there's freaks up here. Oh, um, Deke would not live very long against the hordes. I think we'd be all right. Does sound crazy, yeah. And I love, I love a good challenge. I mean, at this point. We are definitely, I've definitely played this game enough times that, yeah, any way we can, we can make it harder. You'd have to do more stealth. Yeah, maybe. Thank you, Nylon Girls. It's great execution on that jump. Another micro recorder. You see the rest of the Can do skill upgrades. Okay, yes, I'm in. Definitely. Let's do it. Shit. It's not on our route. I don't know, man. I check with the CEO. That's what's on the books. Damn it. It's not part of my route. Yes. No kidding. Me neither. Whatever. Move you guys around all the time. What did I say we were going to do? I've got a specific set of stops I have to make. I've got time-sensitive tests I'm doing. Traps that have to be checked. Hey, tell it to the CEO. I don't make the schedule, and I don't Ooh. pick the rotations. Yeah, but I do. Thanks for telling me. Sure thing. No problem. <laughs> I wasn't paying enough attention to that to get the nuance of what they were talking about. Uh, doable if you have cocktails, yeah. Um, you might go out ceramic shopping, Bob. I want to change the ceramic flooring here. We have 50 square meters, uh, 50 square meter apartment. 
and someone in their infinite wisdom just decided that small brown tiles would be best suited for a ground floor apartment that is so dark. Hell yeah, get something, get something nice and bright in there. Do you rent or do you own it? I'm assuming you own it if you're looking to, you know, make aesthetic changes. Because that ain't cheap. I really, I cannot wait to tile our kitchen floor. I'm going to do the kitchen, bathroom, and we have like a little bathroom um, that I'm going to do in like glossy black textile, like penny tile, but like, you know, the little hexagonal sort of vintage style. Um, oh, it's going to look so good. And our kitchen floor is utter trash. It is garbage. They put in badly installed um, in order to sell the house some like wood laminate uh no is it laminate what's the like cheap wood planks that kind of tongue and groove tongue and groove that's the the term i'm looking for um and it's they put it in badly they put the counter in badly so the the dishwasher almost didn't fit when we had the dishwasher installed and if i put in tile we would not be able to remove the dishwasher without removing the countertop um because it's set a, a, a fraction of an inch too low and the tile will be just a little bit taller than the wood floor and um you know it'll probably fuck it up or whatever if we had to move the dishwasher but i don't have any intention of moving the dishwasher so i'll put in the flooring properly hopefully here. and it's uh it's gonna be great but yeah this cheap ass fucking laminate shit is just atrocious Tongue and groove. Yes, yeah, so six. This actually, they put it in like literally two years ago. It was put in to like sell the house. And it's not like a vintage style. It's like, it's if you went to Home Depot or uh, in the UK, B&Q or whatever, and you wanted to buy the cheapest kind of flooring for like a rental or to sell something, uh, you that's what you get. So it looks like wood. And it's like those, you know, boards that are like, I don't know, this big or so, whatever the size is. And they just like, click together or kind of connect and you just put it down and then you're supposed to like leave a certain size gap around the edge and they didn't leave the right kind of gap and the flooring is like the first time I mopped it I didn't even get it that wet the first time I mopped it it started like peeling up I'm like oh my god just Abby you're loving the survival 2 playthrough that you're doing Oh, to make it harder, you could say bye bye to the napalm molotov. Hey, I got a job for you. Mm. You got a job for me. Yeah, there's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn. Yeah, no, schizo, not happening. Um, Travis, you gotta go. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you for all that you do as a mod and like jump in between the two streams, two platforms. I do appreciate it. Hey, hey, I'll see you tomorrow. Schizo, he can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? A <laughs> little Deacon yeah. smile there. I love it. I love it. You come find me. This kid was like, yeah, you come find me. Like, okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I love that as well. Like, do you really give a shit? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than Schizo's. Come on, I'll show you. Oh, crap. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes. Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to... Yeah, stay. Deacon has never been I so mean, happy for Ricky to need him. Because you wanted to help. Well, he is very resistant thought. to being hey, needed. Day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Uh, Bob, you have two apartments here. Oh yeah, you said that before you own it. Um, 
priority. One two bed bedroom, one one bedroom. Both apartments cost you forty thousand dollars total. Property here is ridiculously cheap. See, we haven't had power for almost two years. So what are you thinking? For the tile what kind of decor do you have and what are you going for i love i love interior design i fucking love it check out the hydro dam just to see why it uh jay stabby says i went to a local deli to grab lunch today turkey ham bacon sandwich bag of chips side and a cookie for ten dollars including tax for my help right small towns are good for some things they all make their own sides and desserts Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys. Nope. Mm -hmm. No, you're not. Now we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no. We're doing this my way. Shit. Fine. Okay, let's go. Look, well, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary, would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the what could go wrong? There's some marauding oh, camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. Oh. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? Okay, hello, hello. Welcome in. Uh, this, the game... Big city. Yeah, right. Yeah, never got to the part about blowing up the caves. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, I think it get out? could be something that they were... Oh, we're going this way. Saving for the sequel? Like a long-term plan of doing that? Because there's... I, that always bothered me. Like, the riding north never happens with Boozer. And blowing up the caves never happened. I don't know. I don't know. I always felt like it should have done, but... They are kind of right that it, it wouldn't really make much of a difference. Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. It seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addy? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. It's nothing serious, she says. Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I, I like that line. Fuck off. Okay. So where did you and I and Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about And that right there is when I started to not care for Ricky. Be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so... Oh, uh, this would be good mission sneaking in. Where'd you go? Killing the Horde. Plant the explosive. Get out, push the plunger. That would be a good mission. Didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the cave. Yeah, I feel like maybe that was something for the sequel that they were going to do. Um, like plant the seed in this one. DR Gaming! This is your favorite game! Oh, cool. Welcome in. Riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of our studio. Well, DG says, I was always curious if the Riding North would have been coming up into Washington. That would have been cool. No, nothing happened. You no, know, nothing happened. Nothing. Like nope, nothing. Don't know anything. All right, nothing at all. Coming up. Take it slow near the gate. We need to push no Sony for days gone too. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Well, it looks you know we'd be disappointed. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah. You know that, right? So we like it gone. would not be what we want it to be, what Come we on, need it to be, and we all want though. days gone to be something slightly different. I think. 
Where are you going? Down here. I hate how long this mission takes. We really shouldn't have started it, to be honest. Oh, no, no, no. Mm, mm -hmm. There should be. Jay Sabby, I'd rather have no right sequel there. than a shit yeah. sequel. Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened? Mm. What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Nylon Girl agreed. The uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Come mm. on, Ricky, let's go. If Ben's studio are doing the sequel, it will not be shit. But will it be exactly what we want? Because we know we're not getting the John Garvin sequel. Would we get the sequel that this game deserves? I'm neglecting my duties. Look at this. Come here and touch this. Come here and touch what, Ricky? Hello, oh, I was a bit forward. Hmm. Buy me a drink first. Okay. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. I do like Ricky as a character, though. She's fucking awesome. It's just the... She's not a good partner. She's not a good partner. She totally should be single. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the pencil. Uh, Scott says, make Uza as a playable character with a modified arm. The flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this? Yeah, Ben Studio may do it, but also so many of the people that worked on Days Gone 1 are not at Ben anymore. Yeah. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. I'm excited for whatever Sucker again. Punch does next. Dad, uh, because we know the lead open world designer, Eric Jensen, from this, has gone to work for Sucker Punch. Let's figure this out. He, a lot of the things, a lot of things that I personally love, a lot of things that make... Hmm. This what it is, well, this is gonna be came fun. from him. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, Scout, I time for you to go. So all right, thank you for oh, being here. Appreciate it. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Hmm. Okay. Ricky's playing the part I would have during the apocalypse. Oh, it's never, never. Let's go. Yeah, I'd definitely be a Ricky type. Like a, you know, fixing and, and trying to, like, improve and defend and things like that. Um, yeah. She, like Iron Mike, maybe has I think I clear uh, a little bit too much of, like, to singular focus on things. At all. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Wait a second. There it is. Yep. If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Ha <laughs> ha! You feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Well, he time to sleep. See you in the next room. All right. Well, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. All right. Come on. Let's sleep well. Pleasant dreams. She has a singular focus when she offers herself to Deke. I don't know. Yeah, she does. I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. Single girl focus. It was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. I mean, shit, you know, Deke is... He has a lot of, um... It was overrun. Everyone was... A lot of qualities that make him attractive. I'm real sorry. Uh, you know, he's badass. He's handsome. He's obviously, you know, Ricky's age, so that helps with 
with that. He's, uh, you know, capable, and he also, he's a bad boy, but he also has that sort of, um, oh, I could be the one to fix him kind of thing. You know, like he's he's got trauma. These are the ones feeding the that going A lot of people yeah, kind of go for that. No, that not a clue. I want to fix him kind of vibe. Okay. Um. So I get it, but it's like you're in well, a relationship, in, in a. Boxes, so let's just go down and check it from out. From Addie's point of view, serious relationship. Okay. You don't see any pregnant NPCs. Yeah. Seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. Have you seen the grave in Iron Butte, Scott? Jessica? The we reason you don't see any pregnant NPCs. Tom. Uh, Lucas said, I watched, watched The Mist the other night. I fucking love that movie. Fucking you know, love that movie. And Sam Whitworth's in it. Oh, my God. His, that scene, that, you know the one. If you haven't seen The Mist, fucking go and watch it. It's really good. And Sam Whitworth has a small part in it. But my god, his acting is so good. Yeah, boost me up. I don't disagree with her wanting to hit on Deke. I probably would. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's the way it. she just disses Addie. Well, I'm not married. Here, I got the game. Yeah, but you're in a relationship, yeah, and the way she ex right she expects it to be nothing to Deke as well. You know, like, well, what do you care? You're not with Addie. His oh girlfriend. God, mm -hmm. what is that smell? Freakerness. From the smell of it more than a couple. Stay close. Nylon girl, you forgot Sam Witt was in the mist. Yeah. How many mile tops you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light Hang up. On. When did I? God, it's been a while, but I remember. Why do we have the little stubby? And the MWS? We didn't have those. I didn't pick those up, did I? I didn't switch back now, so I've only got like seven shots for this. What? I like the end of the book better than the movie. Oh, interesting Zylok. I found it the I liked it the other way around. I liked I liked that that was the more major change that they made. I was very, very surprised by that. Burn it down. The novella is like one of my favorite um Stephen King stories. Ready? I'm not ready. I'm lost. I'm lost and I'm looting. You for one minute, Ricky. Oh, good lord. Okay, remember the drill. You light him up, I knock him down. I'm compelled to loot again. I remember. I can't help I know she just died, but like, sort your shit out, Ricky. Am I not dying this time? Ready? Narrative Nexus, hello, 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 welcome in. Um, hand, hand. Uh, the end of the movie was freaking amazing. Says Jay Stabby, Thomas Jane at the end of that movie took me totally by surprise mm -hmm. i like stories about dread yeah i mean that's the whole that's what the mist is about so i guess the end of the novella does fit the theme of the story better but man stab you in the heart and twist you know um i might makes me think of that john lennon song you may say i'm a dreamer but i'm not the only one i hope someday you will join us and the world will live as one yeah 
you were expecting it, Jay Savage, to go in the direction of the book. Uh, Toby Jones was in it. It's kind of a folk hero in the UK right now. Who's Toby Jones with all the post office shit going on? What? Uh, uh, what post office shit? What? I'm picking up this fucking nest residue. Oh, no, no, Deacon, no! There isn't any. Fuck it. Ricky! What did you do? Don't you be dying. Oh. Time to burn. There's one more and then we said come on at the same time. Oh, she was gonna pistol whip him. <laughs> you good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors <clears throat> much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Oh, well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> <laughs> Power to All the right. people. Let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deep. Come on. <laughs> I love the light in this moment here. It's, it's, he's not doing a very good pose, but the lighting here, you can get some real good photomo pictures. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. He just, um, you never mentioned him before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I, if it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. Did all this stuff just respawn? It did. You get double. You can double dip. Hey, Ricky, Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. I think we we picked up all the stuff. Come on, we gotta get moving. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. The look on her face, the way she's like, I'm, I'm building up to something handy. We gotta do this now. We gotta do this now. We have been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> do you come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and... Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Dee. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here, We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward, okay? Not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? What's it is, Deke? What, what else would it be? Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back! We're from Lost Lake Camp! Iron Mike has Bring a treaty! <laughs> yeah, but you're not in Lost Lake, are you? And they're fucking idiots! Alright, we're actually gonna end it right here. I'm just gonna pause it. Uh, this is where we're gonna end the stream for today. So, let me go over to this screen. We'll pick this up tomorrow. 
I feel like Ricky has a point about moving on, but Deke wasn't ready to move on. Yeah, yeah. It's like she's not wrong, but she's also not respecting his limits and his boundaries and his, you know, all of that. Rude, says Sandy Denny. <laughs> You're going to have to wait. Actually, shit, we're not going to finish this tomorrow because tomorrow is Friday, which means we're going to be streaming a different game tomorrow afternoon, 1 p.m. Mountain Time. It may be Red Dead 2. It may be something else. I have, I have an idea. I have an idea for what it might be. Uh, you guys are going to love it. Um, so, yeah, please do come back tomorrow. In 25 hours from now, we'll be back at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. Um... Schedule should be right there in the chat. It's not popping in this in uh oh, it's not appearing on Twitch. That's weird. But anyway, I'll get that fixed. Alright, well thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I appreciate appreciate everyone who is a channel member. You guys keep this channel going. And I seriously couldn't do it without you. Thank you as well to everyone who's done a one-time contribution. Thank you to everyone who's gifted memberships. And thank you to everyone for just being here. Just being here and hanging out, hitting like, leaving a comment, participating in the chat. It all helps. It all helps continue what we do here. Um, so it is very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, real quick, if you want to contribute to the channel, here's a link. Uh, you can also become a channel member. Uh, on YouTube, you can join. You can hit the join button. On Twitch, you can subscribe. And you can also go over to buymeacoffee.com slash 8 Every tier of membership has perks and rewards, so do please go check it out. See if there's a tier that is right for you. We have tiers starting at a dollar a month over on Buy Me A Coffee, so 12 bucks a year, not a big ask, but it does help keep the channel growing, going and growing. So please do consider it. Um, you can also check out my wish list. There's a link. For some reason, none of these are going into Twitch. I don't know why. Did I pause the chat? No, no, it's still good. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, and you can also check out the merch, including the cool Sponicus Rex merch. We've got 8-Bit Terror merch. We've got Doom, Alan Wake 2, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, Days Gone, obviously Bear Trap Tavern, tons of merch, lots of different products, lots of different styles, colors, fabrics. All sorts of good stuff. Designs. Go check it out. BearTrapTavern.threadless.com I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Again, thank you for being here. See you tomorrow. And as always, stay safe out there. Hey. <laughs>